went ahead. I went ahead in my D and D Beyond as soon as I saw that path or the giant thing release. Oh yeah. And I uh, just swapped out the previous one, which apparently wasn't listed anymore, to the uh one that's you know now official content. And yeah, it's yeah, the, yeah. I looked the official. Yeah, yeah, it probably will be a little bit more uh, neat and tidy. Yeah, yeah. As far sweet, as sweet, the sweet. the D and D Beyond usage goes, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, everybody, welcome back. To our wonderful Kronos Rising campaign. You have spent some time in Themyscira with friends and contacts and such, but now is the time for your true objective to be realized as Oculus has found an entrance into the earth that was needed to make the final approach to your enemies. Just in time, here's Qatar. Hey, hello, 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 hello. Um, okay. You made your way into the earth. You cautiously found yourselves confronted by two great monsters, which were easily dealt with by a, an initial blow from Silenos, an initial fear spell that took them and pushed them back, uh, and you entered into combat. Ouroboros found himself <clears throat> confronted by the god of death himself in a vision, and the ferryman, who basically told him, you may have evaded death, and you may be Zeus's favorite, but there's a price to pay. And attempted to drag Ouroboros back into the plain of Hades uh, by sending the very skull of Hades, uh, some avatar of his power, to try and slay Ouroboros and draw back his soul to the underworld. Uh, luckily, the party was able to intervene, help him out, save him, um, and Ouroboros himself uh, saving himself as well. Um, it was also put forth that the time for uh, not Ember, but Gyasi uh, to make good on his pact was drawing near. That he would have to hunt down the clever fox up ahead and defeat him. And if he were to do that, the debt is paid. Um... Okay, um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um, you guys made your way into the tunnels. You, am I screen sharing? Yeah, I need a screen share. Don't worry, there's not much sound going on anyway. Um, so you made your way into the tunnels. You made your way past the spider webs. Uh, and you found yourself confronting now a drow city, as promised by the gods. You have found your enemies, but... Something's not quite right. It is completely silent down here. You could hear a pin drop in this dry cavern. But nonetheless, you are confronted with what could only be considered to be a drow city. You recognize the uh, the strange walls, the very unique advanced architecture uh, intermingled with massive stalagmites and stalactites in this huge caverning space. Uh, blue fairy lights seem to uh, emulate uh, the entire cave with light, uh, not emulate, emulate's the wrong word, a light the cave with uh, blue fairy lights and uh, bioluminescent uh, fungi and even some crystals here and there. Um, but it is quiet, far, far too quiet. What do you do? Uh, I think we should enter stealth. In case this is an ambush. And can I? Mm. Yeah, I guess I'll cast divination and ask where the trowel are. Okay, how long does divination take to cast? It's an action. Oh, right, it's just an action. Yeah, uh, what was the question? Hmm. Where are the drow that? usually occupy this city. Okay. While she's doing that, I would like to check for traps. Okay, hang on. I gotta work on this for a second. Mark off 25 gold. Um, Dahlia? I have uh, the components in my spell pouch. Perfect. Um... 
Uh, they are consumed, though, so make sure to mark them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Um, let me think here. Let me think. Um, uh, I you hear a voice come to you as you are in the weave of divination. You, we will, you're in the darkness of the earth too, away from the eyes of the gods. Some dark voice will come to you and say, um, our sight has been blinded to the drow for a very long time. You must venture forth to find the truth, but we can see to some they are here, but they are also somewhere else. But once more, much of what you seek lays within. They're here, but somewhere else? Mm-hmm. Who responded to me? Um... Make a religion check. Um, 19. Oh boy. That'll do. I just need a moment to figure that out. Jesus Christ. Oh. Hmm. Uh. Uh, I'm, I'm simply going to say that you don't recognize the voice. This is not a servant of any god that you've ever heard from before. And you said they're here, but also elsewhere? Mm-hmm. Do I gain any insight from that riddle? That's up to you. God damn it, that was useless. Um, so I'd like to whisper to the party, um, let's go get our Amazon army before walking into an entire trap or a trap encompassing <laughs> an entire city. Sounds very dangerous. Well, I mean, I don't mean to be that guy, but we're the goddamn demi thoughts. And do you think you can slaughter an entire city of this size? I mean, we're probably talking hundreds, if not thousands. Actually, can I get an idea of how many people might live in this city by seeing how big it is? Can you make me an insight check? Well, actually, I gotta say, no, you can't. <laughs> you haven't walked through the... It's just You're basically door. standing in front of, like, two buildings and a door. You haven't, you haven't seen the city. You have no concept. But, mm -hmm. I mean, from what we can see here, like, we can see buildings and stuff. Like... Some of them, yeah, but not in the entirety of its scale. Could I start casting uh, Commune with Nature as a ritual? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah, suddenly you guys are like, oh, shit, and Katara's there. <laughs> <laughs> Par for the course. Yeah. You have, like, the Dwight <laughs> moment from the office. It's like, fuck! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> oh man. Where'd it go? So, yeah, I'll spend eleven minutes doing that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you guys suddenly I... start hearing like, <laughs> and everyone's oh fuck, <laughs> she's there, <laughs> preparing a ritual. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, uh, Dahlia. Oh, I was just going to continue my conversation with Ouroboros. Mm -hmm. um, Look, we are here as an advance party, okay? A scouting party. It's our job to see if we even need to bring an army down here. Because as soon as you bring people from up above that don't know the terrain down here, you're going to start losing people. And... 
if we do send them here, we have to make damn sure that this is where they need to be. I'm I'm pretty damn sure. Yeah. Um but I but also don't want to walk right into an ambush either. Like the city feels empty. Well, it's not empty. They're here, which means this is a trap. Like they're waiting for us and they know we're coming. Wouldn't you rather come with an army? I would rather endanger my life than the lives of the Mascherans that as of yet are not a part of the cause. Ooh. Okay. Um, if you say so. And can I make a perception check around us <laughs> and the gate? Just see if I can see any creatures mm -hmm. trying to hide. Absolutely. Two 31s, uh, natural 20s. What the fuck? Jesus I Christ. Yeah. I see everything. <laughs> you listen as intensely as possible. Um, and as you do, you have... I'm going to say like this goes beyond perception. This goes that in this moment, um, you feel that the gods are with you. That as you all, as you and your party walk into the space, the gods' eyes are upon you as much as they can be at this deep place within the earth. And the goddess of the hunt with her keen eyes um, and sharp ears maybe lends some, some power to you in this moment per your uh, divine blood being able to connect with the the gods much easier than many. And your ears um, listen intensely and you look around. Um, you detect maybe 10 large spider-like creatures. You don't know exactly what kind of spiders, but much like the giant spiders you've confronted in the past. Um, you know, large-sized spiders. About 10 of them around the gate definitely laying in wait. More than that, though, beyond deeper into the city as your sense moves past that, there's nobody. There. Here, but also elsewhere. You could feel the shuffling of those, like, arachnid feet that, that barely make a sound as they touch a wire and your eyes look to the little strings of spider web and you see just like ever so slight shifts here and there suggesting these larger creatures are up before you but as you listen you know if this were to be a city of hundreds it would be impossible for it to be this quiet your senses tell you that there's not much else in this city hmm do you share that? Yeah, I'll definitely share that, that there's okay. 10 big creepy spiders right ahead of us. Yeah. What if, if you don't detect anybody in those walls other than some spiders? Remember in Athens when they were trying to take warriors and they wanted to turn them into spiders? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What if that's happening here, or has happened? It's possible. I wonder if this is an illusion. We're not actually seeing. I don't know. I don't know. But I do know there's 10 spiders up there, and they want to kill us. Hmm. Well, if you point one out, I'm sure uh, Silenos can uh, <laughs> make the first blow. Um, Katara, does your magical spidey senses show you if this city's real or not well actually before we do that i'm going to come <laughs> to you katara your ritual <clears throat> will complete at this point i'll say okay. um and we will get that portion out of the way uh, as we come okay. over to you so commune with nature um 
So I guess question, did I, in the casting of that, will I have heard about the spiders? Yes. Okay. So it's only a radius of 300 feet because I'm assuming we're underground <laughs> based on my little screen. Yeah, we um, are definitely underground. So can I, <laughs> sorry, can I determine the location of any, uh, it just says prevalent peoples. So can I get a sense for any drow within 300 feet of me? There are no drow within 300 feet of you. Okay. Um, and then I will gauge... Well, prevalent peoples, period, other than your party, there are no people within 300 feet of you, period. Yeah, okay. Um, can I... Well, then, can I gauge how many spiders are within 300 people? 300... It says animals, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um... You detect a smattering of spiders, but they're only okay. little spiders, only little tiny spiders. Okay. Uh, what Thalia has described, you don't pick up. Yeah. Okay. You don't find large spiders in any proportion. You just find the little tiny spiders that occupy the many webs, but nothing of Ugh, the size that uh, Thalia has brought forth to your attention. Okay. Um, and then... Can I get a sense for how many buildings are in front of us? Then 300 feet. I'm going to end the screen share for a second. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, Let's see. What are... oh, within 300 feet of you. Ooh, that's a pretty decent radius. God damn. Good job. Um, I'm actually within 300 feet. I might have to actually change to my previous answers. I didn't expect it to be this uh this wider radius. Yeah. Nope, no uh no yeah uh just just little tiny spiders, no drow um buildings let me see here one two Four. You detect four proper okay. buildings, but there's also sort of wall walkway based structures as well and others, but four true buildings. Okay. Um, so I guess as I finish casting, I'll, I'll look to the group and I'll just say, yes, there's no one here. Uh, no drow within 300 feet of us. I don't pick up the spiders you refer to, though there are others. Um, oh, and there are about there. four large buildings in front of us, as well as, you know, general pathways. So I don't believe it's an illusion, but I'll do a closer x ray vision look. <laughs> uh, x ray vision look. Uh... Uh, what power is that that you're utilizing? X-ray vision? It's the detect detect magic that I can just do. Ah, oh, got you. Detect magic. Um, you detect that the flames before you uh, are very basic evocation magics. Okay. Um, we only got. And like I'll get closer foot. to. Yeah. To yeah, try yeah. to. Get well, how a close do you go? Because you got a thirty foot radius, I believe. Uh, it is thirty feet. Um. So if I can't, what happens if I go to the first candles there? Am I you close go, enough? You go, go to these first torches. I go to there. Uh, yeah, all of the flames are magical. You're not quite reaching the door with your sight. Okay, uh, then I'll just, uh, I'll turn back and I'll say, the, the flames emit some magic, but I can't tell the door without getting closer. Well, uh, let me help you with that, and I'll distant cast her but with my sash I'll use distant casting on her um, detect magic got it so for the next 10 minutes your usual sight katara will extend outward to 60 feet <laughs> uh, she just smile <laughs> uh, 
Um, you detect uh, the door is not an illusion. The buildings are not illusions. You detect, in fact, no illusion magic. At the moment. But you do detect abjuration magic. You detect quite a bit sort of surrounding the door. Um, Low-level abjuration magic. Uh, make me an arcana check or an insight check. At all. Uh, arcana, arcana. Stick to arcana. Okay, I'm gonna press the button on my. I, I hope that this worked. Okay. I don't know if that's gonna appear on D20 or roll 20. Nope. Oh, that's okay. I trust you. 26. 26. Uh, you have been within the range of. Technically, natural 20. Okay, very nice. Um, you recognize the spell, or spells, I should say, that are at play. Um, this is Pass Without a Trace. Hmm. You recognize that sort of surrounding the gate and, and sort of like orbs here and there, uh, definitely emanating from singular sources, multiple singular sources. Uh, a Pass Without a Trace spell has been cast. Um and yeah but that's not like an enchantment on the door or anything like that something is something is uh creating that aura okay so i'll turn back and just uh kind of tell them all that and you know the door appears for europe but there are others that can hide or at least magic that they're utilizing to stay hidden yep those are the spiders freaky spiders and since they weren't picked up with your uh, spell katara i wonder if they're kind of a scarier breed of spider or something that would fall in the monstrosity kind of how, gory how tall is that door uh really quick uh i'll tell you in a second uh as you two make these remarks katarans and uh thalia thalia your your keen senses in this moment see sort of a tinging of web that suggests uh, very stealthy movement and then stillness and Katara you see those orbs sort of move away and vanish from your sight um uh, Gyasi how tall is the door uh, pretty sure about 15 feet let me double check uh 20 feet excuse me it's a 20 foot door um yeah uh yeah, I think if I can track their movement, I'm just going to sort of try to tune into that a little bit more and let people know if, you know, they're coming, like when they kind of come in for an attack. I'm going to use the, yeah. as much as I why can of that. Uh, why don't I just go up and open the door? I doubt a spider is going to be able to catch me. I move very, very fast. So creepy. Well, Katara said they just moved away, so you're probably okay now, I suppose. Ugh, God. It's terrible. I don't know if they moved away so much as repositioned. What did you say, wow. Ryan? Hmm? Yeah, they, they left, like, the orbs left your sight, Katara. Uh, oh, they, You guys okay. definitely, yeah, you definitely get the sense you guys were like, Hey, there's probably monstrous spiders. And they're like, oh, fuck, they see us. So they probably oh. <laughs> went away, you know? Which in our passive gotcha. insight, you suggests a level of intelligence. Oh, man. You... And I... So I have polymorph as, like, a spell... Do I know that I could, like, could I, can I get a sense on if that was the same spell that if I can pick up the spiders, is that any tinge of like a polymorph spell? Mm, like you want to know if. Uh, like I'm curious if the spiders are not polymorphed. like if they have, yeah, like if they're polymorphed. You Instead would have picked of, that like, up with your detect magic. It's a it's a transmutation, so you would have picked that up with your senses if that was the case. Okay. 
I suspect we have faced spiders like this before. Um, there were huge spiders attacking Aphrodite's temple a while back. Um, and then in Athens there were really big spiders. Mm, yeah, I think we might have even faced these before. Or I, I have. Or Boris was there for Athens, right? Yeah. I believe so? Yeah, I think so. Um... What do I recall about these spiders? Um, make me a nature check. Okie doke. Oh. Um, Silenos, can I talk to you about these spiders? And maybe you can help me recall specifically. Um, Go ahead and just make me the nature check. The call's already been, the check's God already been asked for. damn it. <laughs> Okay, I get a 10. 10? Uh, you recall that uh, they had the same proportional strengths and weaknesses that a normal spider would, just that their size had increased and thus their abilities uh, grew to measure as well. Some of them could fire large amounts of webbing. Uh, some of them had poisonous fangs. Uh, some of them could climb long distances. Uh, they, they were essentially spiders that uh, were oversized and thus their strength accommodated that. I'll share that, but I don't well, know if these uh, are the same type. Well, Thalia asked me about that. Uh, I'm going to go to one of these torches and uh, snap it off the stand so I can still like, hold the fire. Sure. Uh, and I'm going to burn all the webs that I see around me. Um, as you <laughs> snap it off, you will notice that the the flame produces no heat. Like, and you, uh, and you poke the no webs, catch. and nothing catches. Gotcha. But you could light your own fire if you wish to, but that's just not what these ones yeah. do. Yeah, all good, all good. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just go close to the door, and I'll just say, uh, Captain, a hand, and I'll kind of ready an action to shoot if something jumps out when Giasi opens the door. You walk up to the door. I think Kiros will similarly uh, sort of back you up. Um, Ouroboros has found a cool rock, so he's over here. Um, <laughs> and Gyasi, yeah, you, uh, Gyasi, if you wish to approach the door. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, I'll follow along, but hanging back. Got it. The, uh... If I can go in the middle of people, if like wherever people are, I'm in a, if I sense those spiders approaching all telepathically message people. Got it. So that I think Kiros prepared. is going to be like right up with you there, Gyasi, because that's he's a hoplite. That's his whole deal. He puts the shield up. Um, Saunos has got his bow at the ready. Um, I think Oculus is like... <laughs> I think he's he's just kind of hanging out over here. He's just like leaned up against like a stalagmite. Um, okay, Gyasi. Do you open the door? Uh, actually, I'm going to give it a, a, a solid once-over first. Sure, uh, look for traps. Yeah. All right, investigation. Twenty-nine. God damn. Um, you thoroughly look over this door. Um, it looks well used. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of spider webs on it in its hinges or anything else, suggesting uh, a lot of frequent use. Um, but no traps whatsoever. Uh, and as you sort of like look through the slot, it's not barred or anything either. Okay. Well, easier are open. Uh, you use just, big... my, yep. just my side. Just your side. Yeah. Um, uh, you open the door... <laughs> Big stone door. Uh, you look into this space, the large drow city before you. Um, you look into the large drow city before you, you see um, stalagmites have been 
sort of uh, pr probably magically uh, tilted over to almost appear like spider legs coming out of the side of buildings. Uh, as very, though creepy, very, very aesthetic, very gothic almost. Uh, accommodated with images of various drow warriors and warrioresses and mages and such. Uh, creating a, a very artistically uh, attentive style to their designs. Um, open slot doors that sort of take from uh, the sort of open Greek concept with columns between them. Um, but accommodating and building around the stalagmite and stalactite natural formations. Uh, you look through the city and you see uh, the place looks to be in like a city that might be well lived in. Um, based on the ground, there isn't like spider webs or errant rocks all over the place. You see a little training area before you that doesn't have, again, any sort of rock debris from the ceiling on top of it. Uh, the place looks well lived in, um, but nonetheless empty. Uh, you do see hovering a, uh, no obvious way of how to access the upper portion of the staircase right before you, but a rather well-presented door that seems to make up the main building uh, here. But you do see uh, many structures. You see uh, perhaps a garrison at one point, living quarters. It's tough to say what all these buildings mean as they're not in a style that is recognizable to you. But nonetheless... Um, a culturally defined drow city, the likes of which you have not seen before. And utterly quiet, of course. Does this seem like new construction? Or like... Are you proficient with Mason's tools? Nope. <laughs> Make me just a flat intelligence check. Yeah, ten. Ten? Could be. It doesn't look to be a ruin by any means. The rocks do not seem to be like overly cracked, but uh, more than that, you're no mason. It's hard to tell, but things look okay. to be in good enough repair. Uh, I'm going to say to Kiros, uh, there's a fairly large rock directly right. in in front of these doors why don't we move to there uh and wait for the others to, to catch up with us fair enough uh and he will very much shield in front of him spear over keeping a lookout uh will walk and you can kind of walk with him and his shield will move to protect you uh and you guys can make the way forward uh behind sort of the initial stone Tara, do you see anything new with your x-ray vision? Am I picking up any new magic? Nope. All the same. As Giyasi uh, walks in, I'll follow. Sorry, go ahead, Katara. I was going to say, I am going to see if uh, Coriel can sort of fly ahead um, just to try to find like a perch somewhere where people where Gyasi said he was going to go to um, yeah. and sort of just like to do a squawk if he sees anything all right perhaps it in lands that area. on a stalagmite somewhere over here yeah I think I'm just going to instruct him to sort of keep ahead of the group and just sort of try to monitor as Can I get we a go. quick list of uh, passive perceptions, please? Or, honestly, anyone over 20. 20 or oh, over. Yeah. But what is it? 26. Passive perception 26. of 20. Got it. My bird has a higher passive perception than I do. <laughs> okay, if those are the only two passives over 20, I appreciate it. Um... um can I? Oh, sorry. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Can I do what something like do? or is it? Okay. Sure. Um, I don't have a good feeling about this, so stay close, friends, and I'll use an emboldening bond on um, the five party members here. 
uh, well, you won't be able to hit Gias. He's a little far ahead for, I believe it's a 30 foot radius that you can touch, that you oh. can access. Then I'll, um, yeah, it's 30 feet. So I'll just move forward and get him. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, if you want to get him, positioning is important here. So you kind of push through Silenos and Norboros. We'll actually get right in the doorway. Yeah. Okay, you get there. Uh, and you, you tell everybody to huddle up, I guess. Well, I mean, just so I can get that off, yeah. Okay. Yeah, as a note, when I move in, um, I was going to say before, I'd like to do some sort of check, uh, survival or nature, um, to see if I can see tracks or signs of life, like smoke billowing anywhere, that kind of stuff. Sure, make me a survival check. Uh, if humanoids are your favorite enemy, you can have advantage. Uh, 225s. 225s. You, uh, well, I'm going to say you have to get in there, uh, definitely. So you kind of... Yeah, as, as Giasi went in, I think I would have just followed Bodron. Got it. You just kind of make your way in there and you kind of like look around at the ground. Um, the ground is dirt and stone, which is good for you. Um, obviously always can be better, but good for you. Um, you do see, uh, the ground is pat down pretty significantly. Lots of foot traffic. Um, lots and lots and lots of, uh, foot traffic. Um, that foot, uh, what did you roll in your survival? Uh, 25. Specifically looking for, like, um, recent foot travel. Uh, like recent foot travel and what direction because um, like you can see the difference when you're looking at tracks between like speed direction that kind of thing so I'd specifically be mm -hmm. looking for um, speed either leaving or going like deeper in got it you see it's definitely begun to fade but you think about maybe two three days ago um there was a, a a speedy hasty uh now i gotta take that back i'm afraid i'm just trying to get the timeline just right so you don't see any you don't see any frantic movement and you definitely see that the ground is pat down enough that you'd suggest that indeed the city had been occupied but you don't see specific large amounts of footprints um by any means which is slightly surprising um, you do, however, see, sort of looking around here and there, you do see, like, a couple of footprints. Like, no more than, like, one here or one there that maybe suggests, like, like at least one person has been here today. At which point I'm going to take the scimitar af off my back. Uh, walk towards Oculus, uh, put the blade to his throat, and push him against a rock. Oh, oh okay. All right. Where are they? Mm -hmm. What do you mean, where are they? I I don't know. You told me to find the find the drives. The, I saw the two people, and uh, this is... I haven't been this deep within. Are you sure? It seems they knew we were coming. I... Well, I, why would I tell them? I don't give a fuck. Can I insight him? Sure. <laughs> 21. 21. Um, surprisingly, in this moment, you don't detect deception. You, you in fact, detect that he is trying to be honest. Uh, and that he genuinely doesn't give a fuck about these people. He really only cares for himself. Okay. At yeah. At which I... point, Yasi will speak up and say, "They have the Delphic Oracle. Of course, they knew we were coming." Yeah. See. See. Not my fault. When you said that the drow 
came into the cave. Did you say like they came in and out as if they were hunting? What was that again? What did you see? It was, I saw these uh, these two drow women. Uh, they came up and out uh, and uh, no, no, no. I got to take it back. I got my words wrong. Uh, he says, I was uh, investigating the countryside and I saw these uh, these two drow women uh, in the dark. They were wandering through, so I followed them, stealthy as can be. And uh, they had just completed the hunt. It was a, it was some small, it was like a goat or something. It was some small hunt, uh, nothing of great significance. Uh, and they threw it down the hole and they jumped in. And that was the last I saw. I didn't want to go running into dark spaces by myself. There's a reason I'm alive, and that's because I don't take unnecessary risks. Can't hear you, Ouroboros, you big lug. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought it was because I was way back there. Uh, <laughs> what were they wearing? Oh, they were wearing these. Um, it was. Uh, it looked like. Um, uh, you know. You know what Thetis wears. You know how Thetis has that like really. That the Oracle woman that you have with you, that that really sexy get at, kind of like that, except the the cloth was all sort of black and it had these like, it it, it looked kind of like they had like webbing, a little bit on it. Hmm. Possibly, Arachne followers. He he looks to the rest of the party. I'd say. Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> I'll move further in, by the way. Yeah. Okay, you want to shore up the front defense there? Yeah. <clears throat> cool, cool. So maybe the, you sally up the, to Kiros. The building like things on either side of like the door structure there. Are they yeah, building the buildings with with entrances or are they uh just walled edifice? Like arch uh, archways and shit. They've got really thin archways, but you don't see any entrances. Um, okay. But you could probably, which is, you know, as you look up at those, you're like, okay, that would be a problem if I, if I or anyone was trying to evade, um, you know, arrow slots and whatnot. Definitely a high ground advantageous position to ward off invaders, which, you know, is interesting. Uh, but as for entrances, none that you see just upon entering. It might there might be entrances further in. Hmm. Okay, I think we're approaching leapfrog time. Let's go uh, straight across to whatever the building is on the opposite side of the training ground. There, right. You guys are gonna make it, uh, tell me where specifically where you guys are going. There. Lead the way, we'll follow. Uh, yeah, we're we'll head towards where the big pile of statues are. Uh, These guys over here. Yep. Ember. Got it. Oh. So sorry. Kiros and Orbos <laughs> cover Giasi, and you guys begin to make your way across the way, trying to be as careful as possible. Uh, Giasi. With your 20 cat-like eyes, you do see movement to uh, the upper right hand side. As you are viewing, you look and you see a strange animal-like creature sort of scampering across, uh, swing a door open, and run inside. Uh. Or rather, uh, it has sort of a gray coat, a big fluffy tail, uh, a little hunched over, a little almost vermin-like. It had a couple of scrolls under his arm uh, and sort of runs in the door, almost uh, almost scavenger-like. Uh, facial features definitely, I don't want to be too obvious about it, but facial features definitely resembling a fox. Well, I have something I need to do. Hey, you guys make your way across. Is it what's anybody else doing over here? I'd like to stay about thirty paces behind, or thirty feet behind the front line. Okay. Rod back. Got 
That alley is staying about 30 feet back, so we'll put you there-ish. What about um, Katara Silenos? What about you two? I want to keep within as best I can, like 30 feet of everybody. Like I want to, I'm thinking like try to stay in the middle of everybody so that if things right, come in the 10 it. minutes that I have that spell that it'll pick up, but I don't know how much longer I have that for. Got it. So a little bit above uh, or in front of Thalia. What about you there, Salinos? Um, I want to kind of just provide overwatch uh, for everyone, like find like a perch and then just stealth and just be watching over the cave. All right, you still hop on top have... of this rock. You still have holy weapons, so I think stealth. How long does holy weapon last? Last an hour. Yeah, you got a little bit of that left for sure, oh. uh, but it's coming to an end. Okay. I thought Alex it was only. Yeah, then maybe I won't stealth from holding a glowing bow. That's uh, true. You are a burning bow, man. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I will still I'll just keep away from everyone, just kind of perched uh, somewhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't we throw you right here by these stalagmites, yeah, but still fine. with a little elevation. Uh, yeah. Okay. At this point, so Thalia, you enter cautiously with yeah. uh, Katara and Alex. Uh, Salinos sort of reaching his perch, and as you catch Salinos getting there, you kind of see behind him sort of uh, quicker movement. Uh, and you have like a oh shit moment um and you see emerging from from the darkness little hiding spots here and there um which you don't notice katara uh the no magic emanates from them any longer as it seems they caught on to what you were doing mm -hmm. uh, per, per speaking about it um you see these spider-like creatures coming towards you but as they emerge from the dark thalia you see that they aren't only spiders they are uh they have from the waist up these drow women and men uh almost like spider centaurs come charging out of the darkness sort of wide-eyed zealotous and crazy uh and just sort of uh, and you sort of come up like this uh this this uh, cutthroat in the night sort of look and about 10 of these massive spider-like drow creatures come emerging in uh, I do need everyone to roll for initiative, please and thank you. Um, really quickly, when we left off last session, you said it only took about ten minutes to get from uh to this gate, and then it was like another ten minutes with Katara's casting. I don't know. I, I think there's more than just a few minutes left on Holy Weapon. Yeah, you cast it, you jumped in the hole, you guys spent about 10 to 15 minutes getting there and then there was the casting for 10 minutes and you guys spent about i'd say you guys no that's, that's fair i'd say you guys have like 20 20 to 15 minutes left on it so fair amount yeah <laughs> i think my holy weapon is the only way i'm seeing right now because i don't have dark vision uh well this I, uh this city is little... dimly lit so okay. you can you can see but you know mm -hmm. uh full terrainly yeah. Uh, all of the lights and whatnot, but they only create a dim light. Yes, Salinos. Do these creatures need dark vision? Uh, you don't know. <laughs> well, I do, because I did a check last time, and just because I'm invis invisible to creatures that require dark vision. Ah, okay. So, it, provided there's not webs around, then they might not be able to see me. I see, I see, Gloomstalker. Um, <laughs> uh, they so they can see you guys especially considering you have a burning bright light coming off of your bow um, yeah i wouldn't even yeah i wouldn't even be in darkness yeah okay all good yeah sorry about no that. problem uh, uh as a note can we say that i'm holding the scimitar because i had established i pulled it out to okay yeah you can be holding the scimitar but you also said you wanted to to overwatch and perch so it'd be fine if you wanted the bow yeah, it was like I place. had it before to protect Yossi and then was mad and went to Oculus. So I would just yeah. kind of... Absolutely. Yeah, your choice. Entirely your choice. I consider, like, the first round of combat is, like, you're drawing whatever weapon prepping. So you're good. Um, all right. Do we have everybody? Making sure we didn't miss anyone. We don't need the bird and the riders. 
Okay. This is the game where I have a lot of initiative work to do. Is our friend entering initiative as well? Your friend? Maybe not so much. Yeah, Oculus is entering initiative for the sake of his own life. <laughs> uh, okay. I want to live. I forgot to actually move him. Uh, he's probably like... Where would Oculus be? He's probably sticking near to the to the big he's gonna stay over there probably. Um and, and I didn't have any time to warn the group that they were coming. You won't you won't be hit by the surprise rep, but everybody else will. Not I. But you can't be surprised, that's right, Mr. Danger Sense. So you're good too. He's got uh, his own spidey sense. <laughs> he does have Basically. his own spidey sense. Uh, it's called being a jumpy bitch. Oh yeah. During during a fucking surprise round, I just get to act normally, don't I? Well, that is right. The uh, the light on the weapons are like for 60 feet. Could they still get to yes, us in that could. open space without seeing them? Yep. I, I described that for me, if that's okay. I don't understand how. Because when you... So let's say this is here. And I create a light here, it creates a shadow behind the column. And this place is full of stalagmites and stalactites and other such things, which means that light doesn't necessarily, the light doesn't go around corners. Light hits mm -hmm. walls and stalagmites and will create shadow, in fact, quite hard shadows beyond. So they're able to still hide within shadow. But I don't notice them until they're right on us. I, I just want to like I just want to use my abilities and features if I can, right? And not. Uh... And okay. we're kind of in like an open space, so I guess that's where I'm like having a hard time understanding that we wouldn't see them. You saw them. Nobody else did. And so I want to alert them that they're coming. Okay, you can't. <laughs> they're they're attacking on the surprise round. They emerge from their hiding spots, and you notice them just in time to protect yourself. And during the surprise round, you can be like, hey, guys, watch out. And that can be the warning rather than the driders stabbing them being the warning. But nonetheless, your party isn't, isn't aware of what's going on other than you and Ouroboros. Okay. So you still get to use your features and abilities, but your party won't because this is a surprise round because they've got the drop on all of you and beat your passive perceptions except you. Okay. Okay, Kyros, Oculus... Okay, initiative is up. Uh, who rolled a 25 to 20? I rolled a natural 20 for a 23. Very nice. Uh, 24. 24. Uh, 24. Good job, Silas. Uh, what'd you get a boss? A natural 20 for a 23. Okay, so Silas, let's go first. Okay, fantastic. Also, uh... Yeah, an Oculus got 22, so he's there. Um, okay, what about a 20 to 15? 15. 15. 17. Gyasi. Another 15? Who would like to go first, Gyasi or Katar? Oh, mine Katar. was 17. Oh, yours was 17. Okay, then we're good. Uh, what about a 15 to 10? No. Uh... That should be initiative then. What did you get, Thalia? Nine. Nine. Those should be way up there, actually. Office about 22. Here's what we're going to get. One. Four. Eight. Okay. Uh, sorry, one more time, Thalia. What'd you get? Nine. Nine. And that is initiative. So. I guess that's good positioning. Um, so, starts with Sinos. Sinos does not is surprised in the surprise round. 
uh, Ouroboros, your danger sense alerts you before anything else happens. You just, you don't even see or hear anything. It's just that you're sort of, uh, you're just a very emotional creature, just very on edge, always ready for something to, to happen. Um, and so just something inside you just like ticks and you're, and you go off. What do you do? Uh, due to the nature of feral instinct, uh, I have to rage before I do anything else. So I will do that. So as this, Kiros goes, goes flying (laughs) uh, because of your massive size, um, you, yeah, your feral instinct, you just sort of like, just like know something's happening and immediately just your, your, your emotions instinctively react into a violent rage and your size expands magnificently. What do you do next? Fuck yeah. Okay. Um, so it's dim, so I can see them as they're closing in, right? That's right. Okay. Or the bright light in a 60, whatever. Uh, yeah, the only thing that, the only thing that, um, so dim light is considered light obscurity. The only thing that does is give you disadvantage on perception checks. So uh, you're good for this combat unless they enter darkness, which they probably won't. Gucci. Okay. Uh, and as I grow huge, my weapon of choice that I will draw is going to be the, uh, let's smash some bugs. Uh, the giant slayer. Okay, you whip out the giant slayer. And it becomes my elemental cleaver. I think I'm going to go with fire. All right. I'm a light from flame. Nice. Uh, and are there any of them that are with... saving throw? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I always forget that. Yeah, I did see it, but I was like, I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's just a d20, right? Yeah, just a d20. Let me know what the roll is. Did you see it? Uh, No, where is it? I'll send it to you. We're about to get fucked, dude. (laughs) So, okay, so you, so you, it sounds like you failed. (laughs) Okay, can you (laughs) say? Oh, yeah, God. I'll just say it. it. It was a two. Oh man, you're like you, 14 right now. Do you have a luck point you can use? You're uh, on your bond. I do. Thing? I do have a luck point. Yeah, I'll, I'll use could, it. Yeah, here. it's considered a saving throw. You can throw that on there. Shit. Oh, and if it's a save, then you can use your D4 as well. Hmm. Fuck, man. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, so plus one, that's eight. Uh, and then if I add a D4. Fuck. So nine. that was a nine. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, I get to have fun. No, I don't have the Ouroboros ring. Uh, that bitch Kalagameth took it. Yeah. <laughs> I need to remember that. Still don't know what that does. I know. It's You'll find out. She will die because she took that. <laughs> she will die. She will. Mm-hmm. Maybe not in this life. Or the next. Um, but I will have my vengeance. Okay. I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to send that one again. Okay, I like this one. As you sort of have this feral, like, and you grow in size, um, you see that the ground in front of you splits and cracks open as you see these two, like, these, like, uh, about a, uh, less than a dozen, but still many, um, jagged bones shoot out of the ground and tear the earth open. And you see pulling itself out, this massive, long armed bone clawed skeleton uh, emerges from the ground and looks at you and goes, no. Lord Hades has bought a bounty on your soul. And uh, an undead has been summoned to the field, obsessed with claiming your soul. Back of the line, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Dude, I thought you were gonna say pit fiend for a second. No, I was like, no. could you imagine? <laughs> That'd fuck, be really cool. Man. That'd be fucking sweet. Uh, <laughs> he but writes no. that down. We'll pit fiend for oh, the next one. Balor? <laughs> Send Balor next time. Yo! What mini should I use here? What should I do? Uh, I'll use. Oh, how big is fuck, I'll use this thing. Whatever. It's fine. Pass. Uh, okay. This thing's pretty. Sp so it'll it'll basically like, it'll emerge like over here. I'm about to ragdoll this motherfucker. <laughs> he j he picked the wrong bounty, dude. Uh, let me put him in initiative. My man rolls a twenty-one, so he's gonna go. Uh, what just happened? Four heroes. Fun Is things. He also surprised. <laughs> um, that's a great question. I've never done, never confronted mm. this before. Somebody just joining up mid surprise. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I don't think so. Because they're merging into combat, aware of what's going on. I'm I'm just as lost as you. Yeah. I'm, I'm you know. I'd I'd say I'd probably say no because it knows why it's here. You know, it's come here aware of what it's doing. It's not here for the driders. Okay, what do you do? Driders is an interesting name. I just thought about it. <sighs> Drow, spider. That's wow. Uh, okay. Uh, how far away is he from me? Uh, 30 feet. 30 feet? Yeah. Okay. Uh, as my, as rage was my first action, uh, I still have Bonus access action. to my, yeah, yeah, excuse me. Uh, I still have access to my, uh, in feral pounce, instinctive pounce or some shit like that. that so. That's absolutely right. Uh, uh, as you, and just so you know, as you charge up to it, it suddenly like, and he shoots his arm forth and his arm extends about 15 feet to uh, reach and attack you as you enter into its space. So it's going to oh, make I, a I have claw a, attack. Okay. I have 15 feet of reach as well. So I'll get close enough to where I can hit him, but yeah. not right on top of him. Got it. Uh, 21 to hit. That'll hit. Got it. So you both have a 15 foot reach. <laughs> so you'll be like about there. Uh, okay, 21 mm. hits. You're in a rage, so you're only going to take 9 piercing damage and 12 necrotic damage. Oh, that's that's going to hurt. Uh, 9 piercing damage. That's right. 12 necrotic damage. Okay. That's right. Cool. All right. Uh, I want to... Uh, he just asked. Yeah. Uh, well, first, I want to do my... How how big is he? Is he uh, just a large, large creature? Yeah. Got it. I'm going to do a Mighty Impel. All right. Oh, wait. I already used my bonus action. Sowie. Yep. Uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm just going to swing at him. Yeah. All right. Go for it. You got it. Uh, reckless. All right, advantage. That'll be a 27 to hit. That'll hit. Roll damage. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, that'll be... Plus three fire damage. Uh, uh, give me the tool. Oh, uh, yeah. It'll be... Radiant? 21 damage total. Oh, and the 2d8. Thank you. Oh, by the way, as it shot its hand towards you and clawed you, it stuck its claws into your skin and dragged you up to him. Mm. That was part of the attack. I forgot about that. Got it. Okay. You're currently grappled. Understood. I was going to do the same thing. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so that will be in total. Uh, uh, twenty-eight damage. Twenty-eight damage. Very there, good. There's radiant in there. There's fire in there. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah. You good? You good? All right. What next? Another one. Uh, I think with if I pick him up and throw him, will that end the grappled condition? No, he's he's attached to you right now. Oh, uh, well, well, he's got you. If I throw him hard enough, I mean, <laughs> okay, I'll. Uh, <laughs> I will. Yeah, I'll just hit him again. All right, go for it. That'll be twenty-three to hit. Twenty-three will hit. You should like have all your dice, like your attacks worth of dice, just like sitting there beside you. That's what I would do. <laughs> yeah, all sorry. Else. That's all good. Just feel like it would be faster, you know? Yeah, I'm sorry. 1d8, 2d12, and a d6, I think. Just yes. getting there. It's awesome. Uh, that'll be 41 damage. Jesus Christ. Uh, 41? Yeah. That's a bit of a damage leap. <laughs> uh, yeah, I... So, I'll break it down. So, uh... I, I trust you. It's fine. You don't need to break it down for me. That's just... Uh, okay. Just impressive damage leap. Is all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, you basically doubled your damage. Uh, okay, you take this guy and you, like... You run up to him and he claws you, like, hooks you with his claws and drags you up to him. And as you do, you sort of just put your thing forward and smash him across the head. And then you get, like, a good blow and smash him up across the top of the head. Uh, and his head sort of, like, right over. And he just kind of... And just kind of... He just keeps coming. Hmm. Nice. Uh, that was both <laughs> attacks, bonus action. Uh... That's it. Yep, and I can't move because he's Oculus cannot move. Um. All right, this guy he's gonna he's gonna take a turn. He's got you. He is not in dim light or darkness by any means. So some stuff is a little screwed for him. So he's just gonna take two more piercing and claw attacks. He's got you here, and he takes his other hand and and then just starts going like going for some stabs into your chest. They always go for the chest. Uh, a crit miss, your, we'll say that your, uh, war club just sort of, he stabs into your war club, you get into the way, uh, wow. and then a 20 to hit. I think that'll hit. All right, because you're raging, that's going to be nine piercing damage and 10 necrotic damage. So, total of 19 damage. 10 necrotic. Okay. All right, that's his, uh, that's what he's got. I'm going to start dragging you around just for fun. No, I'm just kidding. He's not going to drag you around. Um, Kiros is surprised. Gyasi is surprised. Guitar is surprised. Thalia is not. She saw this coming. What are you going to do, Thalia? I am going to... Right there. Uh, Get you a good view. I'll ignite my radiant soul. And... You already spent that today, I believe. You did that in the cave. Oh, you're right. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, then for my action, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, sorry, action. Um, I'll use. Um. Uh, chill touch with my action. All right, what are you going for? The uh, undead creature. Okay. That is a 90 foot range if it's an attack roll. I'm going to give him some cover because you got a barbarian between you and it. Oh, well, then I'll move to get better. A better, uh, I don't know, like, vantage, I suppose. Uh,. 
you want to run like that way, you can try and... Problem is, Orboros is fucking huge, so it's a little hard to get perspective on a smaller creature in front of him. So you'd be, you'd also be kind of running right up to a Dryder. I don't know if you want to do that. Kali, Kali, baby. Um. Yeah, you're gonna have it just because of perspective. Because you've got like a big object in front of a smaller object, it's gonna be really hard to use thirty feet to uh, get around that cover. But you can start making progress in that direction if you want. Can't hear you. What about thirty feet the other direction? Uh, you could move. You can move up the stone that he's on. No. Okay. Well, then I'm just yeah. gonna use um, Toll the Dead with uh, Wisdom saving throw. Got it. What's the range on that? It's sixty feet. Uh, she's a little far. He's about ninety-five feet away from you. Can I move up 30 feet? Uh, let's, sure, let's see. So 10, 20 feet forward. Um, um, still a little beyond reach at 70 feet, I'm afraid. Uh, okay. Um... I guess I'll just distance cast it. That's fine. Sure. All right. Wisdom saving throw from whatever that thing is. Uh, that is going to be a 19 to save. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, that saves. All right. The bell begins to... <clears throat> but then sort of whistles out as the creature's uh, mind seems resilient to such magics. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to cast a Sanctuary on myself. All right, Sanctuary's up. Uh, is there anything else? Nope, that's, that's my turn. That's tools in your toolbox. Fantastic. Okay, that brings us to the Driders. Uh, oh, boy. We're going to go back to front, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and this one. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna really walk over here to have done that. That one's. Yeah, okay, I like that. I'm gonna move down to here. Get right on top of good old Silenos. Um and it's gonna cast. It definitely attacks the bat, right? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely gonna go for the, the fucking owl. Um these two up here sort of and they these spells go off. Um and suddenly Alex, Katara, Thalia, Oculus, and Gyasi, the world goes silent. Could I see that they were casting spells? Uh, you could. Okay, I would like to twin cast a uh, counterspell. Okay. At both of them. 
Yeah, I understand. Yeah. T- yeah. Um, you do so. Uh, and, yep, those will fail. So that's going to reshape what this one does. Oh. I hate when that happens. Um, I will just replace it. Wait, you said the second one's not casting a spell now? Nope, they both tried no, to cast spells one. and you counter spell them. Well, the third other one something. Okay, okay. is going to not do what I was having it do. And it's going to cast a spell. Uh, and for... I think they'll still try and make it happen. I think that's pretty, pretty potent. Got you in there. We could do that. Oh, so that's those two turns. They'll run down to try and get closer because they lost their attack. They might as well get some speed. Um, who else is there? Yeah, this one will do it. Uh, and then this one is going to similarly throw. I'm gonna make it happen anyway. They want that bad, so they're gonna do it anyway. Um. Mm. No, they're not gonna do that. Cool. Just making that position as perfect as I can. Okay, so for Alex, Katara, Thalia, uh, Oculus, Gyasi, and Kuros, um, suddenly all sound is gone completely turns off. Words cannot be heard, nor anything else. So that's those guys. Happy as can be. Uh, which leaves... I Did you say I, one... I was caught in there as well? You're definitely caught in there, yeah. Um, I think they need to make a wisdom save. Um, or choose a new target. Just At least it's a harmful wary. effect, I believe. Silence is pretty harmful for a spellcaster when they use verbal components. <laughs> oh. Wait, uh, is it silence or spell. or deafness? Because he, he said y'all go deaf, which means you can still talk. Uh, deafness so is one person. In, it, it res- when it says, um, uh, hang on a second, uh, makes an attack or harmful spell. Um, harmful referring to damaging, not harmful referring to inconveniencing. Uh, <laughs> so, um, the silence both wards up, unfortunately, sanctuary will not help in this instance. Um, and also, this is an area of effect, so for many reasons, this silence will still pull through. Um, these guys, though, they've got some plans. It doesn't say it has to not be an area of effect. The spell doesn't protect the warded creature from area of effects, such as the explosion of a fireball. A silence is an area of effect spell. Oh, oh, sorry. And it's also not a harmful spell, so for many reasons, we'll just continue. Okay. Um, okay, so that's those four. So who I got left? One, two, three, four, five. Where is the last one? Oh, there he is. Oh, why didn't you get picked up? Um, okay, they they come in to kill. They come in to kill. How? What's the range on that one? Now it says twenty bullet box. Yeah, why not? I think they can push it over. Yeah, that'll hit. Um, I need a dexterity saving throw from Yasi, Oculus, uh, Kuros, and Thalia as a splash of fairy fire uh, comes at you. They seem very tactical. 17. Uh, save. 22. 
Save. Uh, an Oculus needs to roll as well. Uh, Oculus easily saves. Uh, so it's just Kuros who gets lit up. And these two guys are going after Kuros. Because uh, we do like a little advantage. Okay. Um, that's Kuros. Boys, they're going to do three attacks either with the Tlone Swords, Long Book, or Fight, Fight, Fight. They both charge at him and they sort of. Ah, and they come in and they try and bite him. It's the first thing they do. It's the most reasonable thing to do, really. Right. Don't like somebody, bite them. Uh, the first attack misses. The second attack just hits. Kuros is going to take four piercing damage and two poison damage. What a world. <laughs> uh, uh, and then they're both going to take two longsword strikes at him. All at advantage. Two. Okay, two of the attacks will hit for 13 and 11 damage. That's going to be 24 damage to Kiros. Uh, fantastic. So that's all my people to the left. Now for my people to the right, there's gonna be two more. Uh, they're gonna come attack the spell slinger if they can. They're running out of movement. Yep, they ran out of movement. This one's gonna go charging in. This one's gonna just willingly run in and attack you, Thalia. But not before this one is going to uh, cast a spell at you. I need a wisdom saving throw, Thalia. Or you know what? Might as well. Um, I also need a wisdom saving throw from... 60 foot range, huh? Anyone from Gyasi? Yeah, I'll just hit the four in the front. Or no, I'll hit these three. I'll need one from you as well, Katara. And and Gyasi. Yeah. Gyasi, Thalia, Katara, Wisdom Saving Throws. At Gyasi, 20. save. Easy save. Good job. Can't hear you, Thalia. Uh, you get advantage on wisdom saves right now for motivational speech and is this considered a single target harmful spell not harmful okay um 19 19 saves Katara doesn't have motion motivational speech so that'll be a straight roll is 23. Good job. You all save. Whole person never fucking works. Um, <laughs> How is that not harmful? What? Because it's not a damaging spell. Damage is what is represented as harm, not inconvenience. Okay. This one's going to run up to you, Thalia. It's going to try and bite you. Uh, that's going to be a 16 to hit. It's got to make a wisdom saving throw. That's right. Uh, that is going to be a nine, so that's probably going to fail. Yeah, it's Where better. Where did it run from? Because it's going to... Where was it? So unfortunately, the attack is wasted because it doesn't have anyone else within five feet to try and hit, and it ran out of speed. Um, it's not going to... It'll try again. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, and it fails again, and it gets pissed off, and it's going to whip out its longbow, and it's going to try and shoot, say, Katara at disadvantage. And that's a nat one. And uh, let's see if it hits a buddy. No, it doesn't hit a buddy. So this one totally runs in. Perfect opportunity. Um... Unbeknownst to everyone, a spell is what is protecting Thalia and just completely biffs it in front of everybody. And uh, 
very and it's very embarrassing for them to be sure so this one's gonna move in they're all gonna move in they're all gonna close in no, it's not good to be on the outside uh, even this one's gonna move right up to actually this one's gonna stay put I think as is this one. Oh my god yes it came back god damn it. all right sort why are you doing this to me just just work work there we go um okay sorry about the long turn uh that brings us to the top of initiative um we officially left the surprise round silenos go for it okay um are any like immediately close to me i just can't really tell uh you are right here there's nobody in melee with you right now you're also completely deaf into the world around you you try and speak you can't hear anything Okay. Um, do I like need to make like perception checks to see any of these creatures, or like would no, I be able you, to look around? Okay, you can see them. So there's one here. There's a couple here attacking Kuros. Uh, you can see them all. They've all sort of emerged from their stealth. I forgot to give them all advantage, but whatever. Okay. Um, What's the distance looking like between either the ones near Kiros or the one above me? The one above you is 35 feet. And the one near Kiros, the closest one, is 30 feet. Okay. Um, all right, then I will climb up to the one. Um, I'll just, like, start skipping up the rocks and and like the way a mountain goat does like not even using hands just leaping from like up the crevice absolutely you just sort of because uh the stalagmites have those sort of like layerings that definitely create footholds and you just sort of catch into them and sort of and make your way up as fast as the eye can see sweet um and i do have uh 50 movement for this round um Very nice so I'll try and get actually, uh, like, past the guy, if I can get behind him. Got it. So just so I'm tracking your movement, because you were down here. Oops. You were here, now you're up here for 20 feet. Yeah, you can easily do, like... Or uh, even, feet. like, back closer to the... Like, more into the cliff? Yeah, perfect. That's like kind of where... So we're going to say that was... Because it was 20... We're gonna say that you have five feet of movement left if you wanna if you okay. have a mind. Yeah, no worries. Um I'll um like as I'm running out, I'll be like pulling a berry from my pack, uh like wiping it across the top blade, and then as I jump up with both hands, because I don't really know how to use this weapon yet, I'll <laughs> just like overhand swing uh, with the uh sword. And that flavor was just bonus action hunter's mark. Got it. Okay. Uh, yep, you mark it for the prey that it is. Um, and then I will take a wipe. Uh, 29 hit. 29 definitely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Cool. Okay, so uh, 13 damage there. 13 damage, very good. Um, and... Um, can I try and make that a disarming attack? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll the extra d8 on it, and I'll roll a strength save. Uh, that is not great. That's only a 12. Uh, yep, it would have the... been wielding its longbow at the time because it is out of range. So yeah, if you wanted to slash, you'll yeah. toss oh. the longbow by accident. Yeah. Uh, and then, so that'll be three extra damage for a total of 16, it would have been. Fantastic. So three extra damage. And as you slash it, it's up on the cliff. It's going to, ah, and the bow's going to go, it's going to go sort of flying off into the path that you entered from way down below. So they're pretty well disarmed with their longbow. Um, yeah, I think that's all I can do. I believe you have a second attack, don't you? 
Uh, yeah. 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 I was Come thinking. On, Ranger. Yeah. The fuck? Come on, bonus. bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, good point. Thank you. You a marshal, homie. You a marshal. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hit. Hit? 13 hits. Oh, I thought you were just telling me that you hit. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, a 13, unfortunately, <laughs> doesn't hit. Uh, yeah. You you slice into them, but they do seem to have, like, a strangely strong carapace for a spider. Yep, all good. Uh, that's everything, then. Fantastic. Ouroboros, you're in a death battle once more. What do you do? I love that YouTube channel. Um, so what yeah, I'm going to do is... Uh... <laughs> hmm. Beat his ass? So this thing can, like, move me around, right? Yeah, I'm gonna drag you around. Okay. You're only a size bigger. Um, he hasn't, but he could if you wanted to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna use my action to break the grapple. All right. Uh, go ahead and make a... Uh, an opposed athletics, or, or actually, there might be a DC. Yeah, there's a DC. Make a strength saving throw. Or that's not how it works. I'm sorry. Oh. Hang on. Make a athletics opposing strength check. Yeah. Yeah. There's a DC for this grapple, but you use your athletics at advantage. Ah, I got you. Thank God for advantage. That wasn't that great. Uh, 23. Yeah, easily you, and you hear the bones snap within its arm, and its arm hits the ground. And then it raises its arm up, and you hear within it the sort of... And mm -hmm. he just keeps coming. Okay. Uh, as that happens, uh, I want to do a bonus action Mighty Impel. Okay. He has to make a strength save. DC strength 18. Save. DC 18, he fails. He does? Yeah. This is the first time it's ever ha worked. Well, you're a big, strong boy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, uh, Jesus. All right. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to send him flying uh, 30 feet. Um, probably in the middle. How far is that spider to behind me? Uh, the second one. A sec, this guy over here? Okay. That's 40. 40. Uh, I'll throw it right into that guy right there. Ah. Um, you know what's really annoying about Mighty Impel? But they don't give you any rules for what happens when you throw a creature. They yeah. just are like, deal with it, DM. Oh, um, yeah, they, they pretty much only say, uh, if at the end of this movement, the thrown creature isn't on a surface or liquid that can support it, the creature falls, taking damage as normal and falling prone. So here's what in I'm going to say. In theory, I could throw him up yeah. and have him fall. So here's what I'm going to say, because like, that's what you can do. Um, I'm What's the what's the range? You could throw it 60 feet, right? Uh, 30. 30 feet. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say. Move it to an unoccupied space within 30 feet. Okay, there you go. They're trying to. That's yeah. them trying to avoid. Mm -hmm. So why don't we say you you sort of like we'll call it like a like a yeet like an over the head yeet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you and you're just gonna just eat this boy. I throw yeah, him like you're gonna over throw my him... head. Behind me. Oh, this place. Oh my god. Fucking. What a dickhead. I'll say. There we go. Okay. Jesus. Um. So why don't we say you take this here, boy. I'm gonna take this young man. Oh, it's only 30 feet. Where we put him low? If if you can Trying drop him, like yeah, okay. Okay, why don't we say the well, nearest it, guy? Because you can hit the nearest guy and. Yeah. So so if I throw him 30 feet in the air over an enemy, yeah, it is an unoccupied space, and then yeah. from then on out, it's gravity. And then he yeah. falls and yeah, okay. So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna yeet him up 30 feet, and as he hits that top arc on on his. It says at the end of your turn it falls. When is it, when does he fall? If at the end of this movement the thrown creature isn't on a surface or liquid that can support it, the creature falls, taking damage as normal and landing prone. Beautiful. So you throw it thirty feet up in the air, and it's going to arc down, and is going to fall down on this nearest drider, twenty feet, 
So the two of them are going to take 2d6 bludgeoning damage. Fuck yeah. There are we go. We that? figured out Mighty Impel. <laughs> yeah. Are you rolling because that or am I? I'll roll it out. Because okay. I am I represent physics. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> Three and six. So the Dryder is going to take six damage. Okay. And hopefully them being, you know, zealotous, they've never seen this guy and they will be prompted to attack him as well. Perhaps, indeed. Um, but yeah, the guy lands on the drider, falls off the side of the drider, and that one's going to land prone. Uh, the drider's going to be... Uh, some guy just fell in it from 20 feet. I'm going to roll a little check mm -hmm. quick. See if they stay. A large creature. Yeah. Uh, nope, this one falls prone too. Fuck yeah. All right, I good hope job. they all saw that. <laughs> yeah, okay. everyone saw it. You just... Boop. Sweet. Okay, so that was action, bonus action. Uh, I think for my movement, I will. Hmm. Here, actually. I think I'm gonna, just so they really have no other like big targets. I think I'm gonna move over there to the uh top four. The top four. Uh, spiders, uh, north, or my bad, yeah, north. These guys over here. Mhm. Mm uh, I will move my full First movement speech. there, uh, the which movement. is forty. Forty. Okay, forty will land you there. Cool. And uh, yeah, that'll be my turn. Fantastic. Uh, was Mighty Impel a bonus action? Yes. Then don't you have a full action left? Uh, the action was breaking the grapple. Right, 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 right. Okay, fantastic. Oculus's turn. Let's see what's Oculus Zand going to be up to. Uh, he don't like being cornered. Uh, he's going to run around Gyasi. He's going to run right up to this drider, and he is going to draw his short sword, and he's just going to go to just put some blows into him. Yeah, hit that shit like Samwise Gamchi. <laughs> Nice. You don't remember that? Uh, hit that shit like Samwise Gamzy. Mr. Frodo. With the like, pan, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Nah, he stabbed Sheila in the fucking. Okay. okay he went underneath gotcha. it. Yeah. <laughs> Just like interesting character choice for stabbings. Um, but you're right. You're right. He took down Sheila. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, he's got advantage, which is going to give him that precious sneak attack. And these guys, he's Dryder. Uh, don't have any resistances. We good. Um, okay. That's going to hit. Take the other attack out of the way. That's going to hit as well. So that's going to be... Two, four, six. Uh, ten. Thirteen. Fourteen. Eighteen. Twenty points of damage. He runs up and stabs it in the belly. And the second attack is going to do six, uh, ten more points of damage. He runs up and just starts stabbing away. Um, and he's going to look back at his fellow rogue, Gyasi, and he is going to sort of wink at you. And you are going to, unbeknownst to you, the fates will just sort of twist things in toward your favor. Uh, you are going to have advantage on your next ability check or attack roll at the start. Uh, until the start of his next turn. And because he's a faded... Nope, no crit. Uh, that is going to be his turn. Uh, that's going to bring us to the bad guy. We're going to stand up. He is... Uh... Let me get those light ranges on you guys. So Orboros... Or how much is the holy weapon light, Thalia? It's 30 feet right, 30 feet dim. 30 feet okay. light, 30 feet dim. Fantastic. 60 feet, I guess. Understood. So this guy. Oh, that's interesting. It's kind of a way choice for doing this. Uh, bone claw, later darkness. Each uh, bone claw, then do murder. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. 
30 feet. That's not very helpful for what I want to do. Um, so he stood up. Oh, he'll do it anyway just to get up to you. Um, there's this... As the shadows themselves sort of collect around him and envelop him and then explode outward. Um, everyone within 15 feet of the, 15 feet of the creature uh, needs to make... So that's going to just be... Kiros and the three Driders are going to make con saves. Uh, DC 14. Uh, Kiros fails. Success. Success. Failure from the Driders. All right. Big bad guy is going to do... 30 points of necrotic damage to Kuros. This guy. This guy. And then 15 points to the one in the back. Um, who maintains concentration on fairy fire. And then this guy completely vanishes and teleports behind you. Uh, hmm. Ouroboros. And that's his turn. Uh, you know what? He would have taken... Uh, he can't take an action and still be hidden, so he wouldn't do that. Okay, it's Kiros' turn, who is looking a little... and He's looking pretty bloodied. Uh, Kiros is going to aim for the one that's prone. He's going to go into a barrage of attacks. He's feeling a little vulnerable, so he is going to embody the Son of Hercules power he possesses. His muscles flex, the, 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 the veins pop, uh, and he looks as strong as he ever has. Uh, so let's go for it. Uh, all of the attacks will hit. He is going to do... 19 damage. He is going to do 19 damage. He is going to do 16 damage. And he kills it. Heroes just, just gets like strengthened and angered, and with a mighty thrust, he just stabs into it four times, killing the Drider. Uh, and Heroes is going to maintain his position so he can cover both allies. So we know that you're protected. Um... And that's going to be that turn. Yasi, what do you do? Uh, let's see. Um, that one's dead. That guy's moved, so there's no point in doing that now. Uh, the vertical drider uh, that's caddy quarter to Kiros, I would like to go behind him. All right, you want to and sort of do one of these? If it's within 30 feet, I'm just going to apparate. Ethereal jaunt. All right, you just, uh, ethereal jaunt, you just sort of portal, fast as the eye can see, right up behind it. Uh, and you can hear again. And uh, we might as well take a shot at him while I'm here. Oh, right, uh, you have advantage for two reasons. AC 29. Uh, that will absolutely hit, no problem. And that's a whole bunch of damage, but of course it doesn't show it to me all in one easy spot. Hold on a second. Uh, that's 39, plus I've got to do a uh, little thundering goodness, because uh, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't you? 39 plus thundering, or is that included? 39 plus thundering. Uh, so 2 die 8 is 10 points, so yeah, another additional 10. 49. Uh, you, you absolutely just carve it down the back and past the carapace, uh, and it begins to sort of vibrate with thunderous energy. Well done. And uh, since I've got movement left, and uh, this guy can't touch me, well, he can try but i have mobility so i don't care uh why don't i head uh to the guy who's uh 
anchoring out towards the back there. All right, you want to 50 feet right towards him? Yeah. Nah, okay. 40 feet. You, 40 feet. You flying up to him? Yeah. All right. So at 40 feet of speed, you sort of fly up there and sort of land on the... Or just sort of hover there, I suppose. You're not too unbalanced. But yeah, you get right up in its face. Anything else? Gonna wink at him. Hey. <laughs> uh, and looks at you and says, Arachne, we'll feast on your blood. Uh, is there anything else? No, no, no that's pretty that. much it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Katara, you cannot hear, my friend. It is very, very quiet, but there's a lot going on. What do you do? Okay. Um, the, is there any, the ones that are near Ouroboros, are any of them within, like, 20 feet? Like, can I get any, like, in any way to get three spiders in 20 feet? I think so. Oh, maybe not. No, you sure. Yeah, you can get them. You can get those three guys right there. Okay. Um, then can I get out of the? I'll back. Like I'll just back. I don't know where I am. <laughs> You're right here. Uh, okay, then I will. Yeah, going backwards is going to be climbing, right? Upwards. Like that way. Or do you yeah, mean, I'll like, go there. The I'll, I'll go back Wait. to the door. Okay, you run I back to the there. door. Uh, it's only, yep. uh, I don't think you're going to quite be able to get out with 30 feet. Uh, no, you may, no, 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 you just get out. Yeah, you go charging back and you finally you begin to start to hear sounds again. Um, I'm going to point at basically the spot in uh, the center of that sphere. And you I'm going to, be able to cast to see the... that spot. Because uh... your view is most certainly blocked at that point. She's a point within range. Um, that you can okay, see or is... just point within range? Uh, it just says choose a point within range. Nothing then about good. seeing it. Oh, um, it will specify if it needs sight, so you're good. I'm going to unleash synapt synaptic static. Oh, um, my favorite spell. All right, the... synaptic static. Wisdom save? Yeah. Uh, intelligence saving throw. Ooh, oh, no. great. Great. Go away. It's the best saving throw the target. Unless uh, you're going you up see? against a wizard. Uh, Doesn't matter, they all fit. 18. They all for sure fit. Okay, so, uh, if they have a intelligence of two, it doesn't affect them. <laughs> they're, they're smarter than two. <laughs> okay. Um, so if a, after a field save, the target has muddled thoughts for one minute during that time, it rolls a D six and subtracts the number rolled from all its attacks and ability checks, as well as its constitution saving throw to maintain concentration. Uh, um, and it can make intelligence saving throws at the end of each of its turn. Understood. And they all take. You're going to total me, right? You're going to total this, uh, 31. Each of them take uh, 31. Psychic damage. Yeah. Ow, damn. Nice. Uh, Very cool. They will take 31 damage. What was that, like a fifth or sixth level synaptic static? Fifth yeah. level. Fifth now, all my spells are Ooh, five, fifth roll level. Your, most roll your cursey curse. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> dis so they have a minus D6 to all attack rolls and saving throws, plus disadvantage on wisdom. Yeah. Okay, so... I'll be amazed uh, if they... No, not even a close to a save. Uh, completely docks their concentration abilities. Uh, nothing for the curse. This one is Gold gone. Uh, yeah, in this moment, Oculus, Kyros, and Thalia suddenly... <laughs> sound begins to return to your ears. And then, if I can, um, I had Coriel sort of like heading in front of the group so i don't know exactly where he would be but if i can He's sort right of there. get him to sort of float down um closer to like 
just sort of to a close bundle of people. Like, I don't know, maybe between Thalia. Yeah, just around okay. there. Just just chilling. Um, his speed is... Speed? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, uh, 50 feet. Five speed. All right, so at, so at 40 feet, it kind of lands on this little pillar over here, which puts it right around Thalia Kiros and Oculus. Okay, great. Um, then that's it. End of my turn. Okay, Thalia, just in time for your turn. You can hear again. What do you do? Um. Um. So there's. How? Uh... Hmm. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Um. Oh, I was gonna... Okay. I'm sorry. Um, I will... There's a guy, like, right in front of me, right? Yeah, right in front of you. Sword in hand. Okay. And... How, like, for an area of effect, how far away are those other ones that are up on the hill? These two? Mm-hmm. They are from you. That is thirty. Uh, at its closest, thirty-five and forty feet. Okay. Um. Okay. Got it. Got it. Um. I'm just gonna use a. Uh, inflict wounds on the one in front of me, but I'm going to cast it at a uh, second level. Alright, make an attack roll. That will uh, hit. 28, okay. Easy hit. It's, um... So that's 31. Um, at, yeah. yeah, 31. Yeah, you put your hand forth, you put your hand on it, say the incantation, and vile necrosis spreads through its body, damaging it. Okay. And then... I'll, uh... Bonus action. Um... I think I'm gonna... Use um, a. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, bonus action. I'm gonna use a bonus action to uh, quick and cast all the dead. See if it works all right. this time. Yeah. Who's it going for? Just the one in front of me. This one. Okay, it took some damage. Let's see how it does. It does not have metal thoughts. Uh, natural one. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Uh, 30. Jesus. That was a really uh, good roll. Yeah. yeah, you put your hands on it, and the crow spreads through its body, and it screeches, and it says, Arachne, save me! And then there's this that just sort of, like, pushes the necros necrotus even, even further and deeper down into its body, and it begins to sort of wither and shake, and black veins protrude from its throat, and the very moisture of its body is sucked into the air around it. Uh, it is, it, it looks like you just aged it about 30 years uh, in one touch. It is very hurt. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, nope. That'll that'll be my turn. All right. Alex is going to going to is going to is going to. Uh, she is going to. Where are where are you? Um. Oh, and sanctuary drops. 
Yep, sanctuary drops. Thank you. Oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, she is going to not run into the mess of driders because we're a wizard. She's going to probably follow Katara's lead, get over to here. Uh, I think she'll put... Oh, I'm not going to drag that one. I might need to keep that. Needs to be a point she can see. Yeah, whatever. She'll do. She'll stick with old reliable. She'll throw another fireball. She'll put it right here to hit those two guys right there. They're gonna make deck saves. This one's gonna do it with a minus d6. Uh, those are all failures. Uh, they both take 27 fire damage. Them fleshy die. I love yeah. them fleshy dies. They're weird. Wet, I know. floppy sounds Sneaky. in my ears. I love it. <laughs> okay, that's that. Um, fantastic. That's going to be the Drider's turns. Oh boy, oh boy. Um... Okay, these guys all have muddled thoughts. Uh, I only want to put another one down because it's pretty helpful. Uh, I think this one's going to retreat. Uh, it's going to go 5, 10, 15. It's going to go 30 feet this way. And it is going to begin casting a spell. And then it casts its spell. And it's going to put up another silence. Uh, and we'll do the same thing we did last time. So we'll just some bell. Uh, okay, that's what that one does. Uh, this one moves to confront the giant fucking barbarian that's running at it. Uh, this one... It's got muddled thoughts. It wants to help out its buddy. Uh, wisdom saving throw Ouroboros as it casts a spell. Oh no, my weakness. That'll be a five. Uh... Old person takes effect. Uh, you are held and paralyzed in space. Uh, buddy boy over here is going to... Uh, you lose rage when incapacitated, right? Uh, knocked unconscious, or if my turn ends and I haven't attacked a hostile creature since... Okay, so Rage will endure. Rage will endure. You're good. Thank fucking um, God. Thank fucking God. Because, yeah, he's about to take some crits on you, my friend. Attacks the hit creature within five feet. Okay, this one's going to go in for some, some attacks. Uh, it's going to have advantage because you are just in place. And I attack uh, nine, Reckless. And you attack Reckless. Uh, not last turn because you uh, broke the grapple. Oh, yeah, true. Uh, 19 to hit. Uh, just beats Is this it. the one that had the synaptic static on it? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Oh. So that'll, that'll miss, because it takes a minus 5 to that with the d6. Good job, good job. Uh, it's going to try again with its long swords, as it's minus lovely. Uh, it's going to miss again, because it rolled a 19. And... Uh, damn, you're uh, fucking lucky, Ouroboros. You so fucking and by lucky I mean you have a you got a caster watching your back. Um, it's always nice. It's always and nice. then this, it does another see. intelligence saving throw at the end of its turn to drop the effect. Got it. We'll take care of that in just a second. Uh, this one's gonna run up because that was pathetic, and <laughs> we need to do some damage. We're gonna. Oh, it just did whole person. It can't do anything now. Never mind. So this one's gonna stay put. And she goes. I don't know. She's well, actually they shouldn't be speaking in common. They're speaking in under common. So you guys mm -hmm. probably don't know what they're saying, but they're like screeching at each other. But the word arachne is thrown in there a whole bunch. Um, 
Man, that's such a fucking bummer. A whole person, someone to miss every shot. Ugh. Damn. Triple multi attack, wasted. Uh, good job, Guitar. That was a good one. Fuck um, yeah. Okay, over here. This one sees you saddle up Gyasi and does not like that at all. Um, I think it's just gonna swing its sword at you. Or wait, can it do? Yeah, it's gonna swing its sword at you. Uh, okay, coming at you is a bite. That is a natural 20. Oof. That'll hit. You're gonna take, uh, that's gonna be three, four, that's gonna be seven points of piercing damage plus. Be 24 points of poison damage. And as for its two longsword attacks, that's gonna be a 21 and another nat 20 to hit. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. All right. So the first one is going to be nine points of slashing damage, and the second one is going to be 15 points of slashing damage. Which I will uncanny dodge to eight. Understood. Uh, and as it's as it ends its turn, it's going to cast Sanctuary on itself. Uh, incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Uh, uh, let's see. This one lost its constant... Oh, no, I kept its concentration. Uh, this one's got a yellow on it. Why does it have a yellow on it? What happened to it? Yeah, somebody did something with this one. Okay, I'll see if it comes back to me. I'm going to do this one first. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, it's the um, Booming Blade. It's got Booming Blade on it. That's why it's yellow. Thunder. Okay, cool. Uh, this one, I think, is just going to stay put and keep trying to take shots at Kuros. Uh, it's going to take a what? 21 will hit. Two longsword strikes. Uh, the bite will hit. Longsword will miss. Longsword will not 20. So that's going to be... 3 plus 9 damage on Kuros for a total of 12. Um, Kuros' armor protects him for a 19. And the last attack, the nat 20, is going to do... Uh, 21 damage, and Kiros is down. Oh, uh, no. This one knows it's a little booming bladed right now and doesn't want to get hurt anymore, so it's going to stay put. Uh, this one is, I think... Uh, and I... You know what? I gotta start using this more. Yeah, this guy over here fucked up. He's going to cast Sanctuary as well. This one runs over here to get Oculus. Uh, yeah, it's going to run right here to get Oculus. He's going to make his attacks against Oculus. Uh, 22 will hit. Uh, all of those attacks are going to hit. Oculus is going to take a big old... Ooh, i got to put your hit points in Oculus. You haven't been touched yet. Okay, Oculus, you're going to take... 12 points. Come on, interface. We're going to be here. 12 points of damage. And then it's going to take 11 points of damage. And then it's going to take another 4 points of damage. Um, and I don't think Oculus has anything to help with. Uh, he does, actually. He's going to uncanny dodge and get 6 HP back here. Uh, and then this one's going to cast Sanctuary on itself. Uh, this one will cast Sanctuary on itself at the end of its turn. Uh, that one cast a spell. That one tried to cast a spell. This one cast Sanctuary on itself. Uh, this one's going to keep trying to attack you, Thalia. Uh, we're going to just go for that multi-attack. Uh, that's going to be a 20 to hit. Uh, that will hit. Okay, 12 misses. And the nat one misses. Uh, so the first one was the bite. It's the only one that hit. You're going to take... 
one point of piercing damage plus uh, ten points of poison damage. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, and as you're not wielding any weapons, I think it's going to back off and it'll accept the opportunity attack if you want it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, All right. Make a little of that. My reaction for something else. Um. Never mind. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna save my reaction. Got it. This one backs off. Cast sanctuary on itself. Um. As for this one, way up here, I think it's gonna take its longbow out, and I think it's gonna take some shots at the barbarian because it has advantage on him. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's take those casters over there. Uh, this one's going to shoot its longbow three times at Katara. By the way, Katara, did you roll your wild magic -y thing for your... Uh... Yeah, I got seven. Okay, cool. cool. Just wanted to check. Uh, okay, longbow strikes for you, Katara. First one is going to miss with a 10. Second one is probably going to hit with a, oh god, 23. Yep. And the last one probably misses with a 13. Miss, yeah. Okay, you are going to take... Uh, you're going to take 11 piercing damage and 1 poison damage. Okay. Uh, and this one didn't like that fireball, so it's going to crawl along the walls, spooky-like, and land right here. And cast Sanctuary on itself. Last one. Um, Hunter's marked by you, Silenos. He's going to attack. Uh, he's going to do a bite and two long swords against you. Okay, bite probably misses with an 11. Miss. Long sword probably misses with a 15. Miss. And the last one probably hits with a 21. Mm, just hits. Just hits. All right. That's going to be a whopping four slashing damage. Uh, and then cast Sanctuary on itself. Um, okay. 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 That's going to bring us to your turn, Silenos. What do you do? Um, how does shove work in turn economy? Is that like an action? It's considered an attack. So if you have multi-attack, you could spend one of your attacks to try and do a grapple. You could try. You could spend both of them to do two grapples if you wanted to. Uh, a shove is either you can either push them into into a space like five feet away from you, or you can try and knock them prone. Yeah, I want to push this motherfucker off the cliff. Okay, per the fact that. Uh, um. Damage... And... Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Per the fact that you're trying to push it off the cliff to do an actual damaging effect, I will require wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Uh, this is a spell, right? This is a spell, yeah. So you'll have advantage. Uh, two twenty-threes. Yeah, you easily overcome the. Uh... Uh, the wisdom save required. Go ahead and make your... Uh, you're trying to shove him off the cliff? Um, yeah, I even might do... I don't know if this would change anything or would make it better, but, like, I do have horns. Like, I have a ram attack. Does um, your ram attack do, a, do like, a shove by any chance with it? Uh, it no, it doesn't do a push. Yeah, it's just a plus six, so I don't know if I would be better to hit like that. Well... Go ahead and make me the athletics check, and we can flavor it as, like, a, a ramming, if you want yeah, to. Yeah, no problem. Uh, just athletics? Yeah, an athletics check versus its athletics. Oof. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Uh, four. <laughs> yeah, it rolled in that 20, 23. Cool. Um, cool. You, like, meh, and, like, give him, like, a headbutt, and you kind of sort of bounce off of it as its legs are, like, firmly stuck to the ground. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't work. But if you wanted to give it another shot, you can roll another wisdom saving throw and try it again if you wanted to. Um, no, but I, I'll, uh, I'll just try and swing at it with the sword. Go for it. Make a wisdom saving throw. Well, uh, the low one is a twenty. Uh, twenty will hit. 
or a 20 will save against the Sanctuary, go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, 27 to hit. 27 absolutely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Perfect. I'm just curious, because I, I saw that um, Thalia said that you had advantage on your attack or something. Yeah. I don't know because... if that would have... Yeah, that would apply to a show. Um, she, uh... she would think from motivational speed at advantage. Oh, yeah, I'd apply that. Yeah, because it's considered oh. an attack, so I think I'd... Okay. I'll just roll another. I up. usually translate it, so go for it. Just roll me another d20. Uh, that actually becomes a 19. No, a 19. It still won't beat the twenty twenty three, unfortunately. But a much more, a much better aesthetically looks way more intense. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so damage, so 10. Uh, plus... Fifteen, uh, and just a question from the first round. I forgot to add it. Would I be able to add the D eight from Dread Ambusher? Sure, go ahead. Okay, it's just I forgot to. <laughs> yeah, first round yeah no problem. No problem. Go for it. So that would Eight. just make the total uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Go. Good job. Good job. Eighteen. Could you roll me a quick con save because you did take damage from this guy? So I want to see if you still have uh, your concentration on Hunter's Mark. DC 20, or 10, excuse me, 10. Ah, uh, 19. Yeah, you're good. Just wanted to check. Okay, yeah, uh, no worries. Okay, bonus action movement? Uh, I will uh, attack with the bonus action. I'll kind of do like a fluid movement and see if I can start to understand um, this weapon. Sure. Um, You need another weapon, though. So for a bonus action strike, you need to... It's considered two-weapon fighting. So your bonus action attack is something else in your other hand. He's using the Revenant Scimitar. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, that's, that's right. Yeah, I, that's right. I had forgotten. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for it. Absolutely. Forgot it was the Revenant Scimitar. I'm sorry, everybody. Sorry, didn't just know that. That's a 16 hit. Uh, 16, unfortunately, doesn't hit. You're trying to, like, get a handle on the Revenant Scimitar, and it bounces off of uh, a rather thicker part of the carapace. Okay, all good. Ooh. You need to roll. It doesn't matter. You had to roll a wisdom saving throw anyway, but you missed oh. anyway, so it's fine. Um, all right. All right, movement. Movement, yeah, I will... I'm going to try and, like, jump down the cliff to that uh, longer um, looking flat just below me. Looks about 10 feet below me. Uh, uh, that is going to be 20 feet beneath you, actually. Okay. Um, uh, if you want to try it, I'd give you a DC 20 athletics or acrobatics check to make the landing without hurting yourself. He's got big big hops though, right? You can just jump down. Yeah, but gravity still hurts. Yeah, I can, uh, I'll do an acrobatics. Okay, go for it. But I, I, I will say I am willing to take an uh, opportunity attack. Well, because you're falling, you'll avoid the opportunity attack. So people don't receive opportunity attacks when either being forced out of the space well, that's it, forced out of the space, which can either be falling or maybe someone pulling them out of the space. Or... So you'll be okay. good on the opportunity attack. Because you just Oof. sort of... Uh, it doesn't do it. It's all good. So you jump off, flip them off on the way out. They swing, can't catch you in time because you're falling. And... And you hit the ground. Uh, you hit the bottom of the stairs. Uh, at about 25 feet, you land prone. You're going to take... You're going to take four points of bludgeoning damage, you're going to land prone, and you're going to fall down the set of stairs uh, no, no, and land no, at the bottom. No, no, uh, I'll probably no. give you another D6. Uh, four more points of bludgeoning damage, and you land at the bottom of the stairs. Prone. <laughs> Damn, I he just, just jumped. See if anyone saw that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a couple people might have, might have seen it. <laughs> I got away! <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you have your speed left. You can stand up if you want to. Oh, yeah, I guess if that movement didn't count as speed, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll stand up. Yeah, and... falling doesn't count against speed, so you're good. Wait, uh, then that will be everything. I'm actually kind of where I want to be. Perfect. 
All right, Uroboros. Uh, it is your turn. Make me a wisdom saving throw at the end of your turn as you are paralyzed. At the end of my turn. At the end of your turn, unfortunately. Oh, got it. Uh, wisdom save again? I'm sorry? Yep, that's right. Okay. Good luck! Good luck! That was an 18! Uh, you pull through the paralysis and you are free for your next turn. Um, yeah, you're good. You make it. Um, you have been attacked, so your rage will endure. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. That's going to bring us to Oculus, who is currently a little... Oh, oh I hate. Man, Oculus, he's just not a hero. He's not a good guy. <laughs> he's going to uh, he's gonna see these two driders attacking him. He's going to see that they're sort of coated with uh, uh, the powers of Arachne, making it hard to attack them. He sees Kiros laying underneath them helplessly, and he is going to, cutting action, disengage and run away. Quick question. Is yeah. Kiros down? Kiros yeah. is down. That needs to be fixed ASAP. I don't give a fuck what your spell slots are looking like, any of you. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't fucking care. <laughs> uh, yeah, my boy disengages and he fucking runs. He just doesn't give a fuck about anyone here. Uh, he's going to run this direction. Uh, uh, does he have advantage on anybody? Nope, because there's a lot of people he can't hit, that's all. He'll draw his longbow. These guys all got Sanctuary. Well, this one just cast him, so he can hit this one. Mm. Ooh, maybe he can go and do a little backstabby action. Let me recheck his movement here. Nah, he's just gonna run uh, 30 feet this way. Uh, he'll just kind of land like here. I can go a little more. He'll go there. Um, he's going to take out the longbow and he's going to shoot the undead. Yeah, the undead dude isn't really bugging him, actually. Yeah, but he'll have sneak attack. Okay, he's going to shoot the guy um, right there. Uh, he is going to use his faded cleverness. Oh, he just disengaged. Never mind. He can't do that. Um, he is going to shoot two longbow shots at the big bone claw guy of death. Uh, let's see, that's going to be 8, so that's going to be 17, which is going to hit, which means the other attack is going to hit as well. Um, he'll get sneak attack, so that's going to be 5, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be 13 points of piercing damage. Uh, that is going to be... Ooh, can this thing take poise? Surprisingly, it does get hurt by poison. Uh, okay. It's going to take... 7 points of poison damage. And lastly... Sneak attack. 10... 14... That's going to be 18 points of sneak attack damage. Um, and that's his turn. Boneclaw's turn. Um, he is going to just lay into you, Ouroboros. Uh, Boneclaw, I just the... realized. I've fought one of these before, haven't I? Yeah, you did. You punched him through a wall, remember? I wonder, is this the same one? It, it mm. could be. Oh, no. uh, it turns, it moves itself into a flank with the Dryder, and it's going to take advantage strikes against you. Uh, a 26 and a 27. Yeah, I think that'll hit Ryan. That's going to be... Uh, okay, you're raging. That's going to be... Uh, I'll just do it all for you. Uh, that's going to be 22 points of piercing damage with rage accounted for. Okay. And that's going to be 16 necrotic damage between the two attacks. And you are grappled. Grabs onto you and keeps, just stabs you one more time. 
Uh, that is its turn, bringing us to Kuros. I'm going to roll a private saving throw for him. God, that missed the table, so we'll re-roll. Okay. If he dies, you all die. Uh, Giasi, it is your turn, my friend. What do you do? Okay, uh, I've got a quickie question for you. Yes, sir. Uh, how far okay. is the drider uh, that is fighting with Ouroboros from where I am? 95 Perfect. feet. Close enough. <laughs> my second yeah. question is... If you were to draw a 10 by 10 square, okay. 30, 10, 10, 10 feet high, 10 feet wide, and 30 feet long, will it grab the three driders that are kind of in a line, Ouroboros, uh, kind of opposite of Thalia, and the one that's just climbed down off the cliff? Doctor ordered something something special today. Let me just make a fucking rectangle real. No, I'm not going that. I'm not doing that much. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, where am I sending it? Uh, oh, that's fun. I'm 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 looking to hmm. see how many of those driders I can hit because I don't know what the distance is between all three of them. Can I spin it? No, I can't spin it. Um. Okay, so. Let me, okay, I'm going to do this a little more simply. It's a very cool structure I made, but we're going to do this a little more simply. Uh, this one, they're certainly tall enough that the 10 foot height isn't going to be an issue. As for the 30 footer, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know what, I mean? if you go about halfway through the space, you'll just be able to catch these three guys. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. At which point I am going to look at the one in front of me. Yeah. And I'm I'm going to say very clearly and very loudly enjoy the wrath of Poseidon. And I'm going to cast tidal wave on those three. <laughs> All right. Um yeah, absolutely a water geyser fires up out of the ground at this one guy and then just layers over itself and splashes hard into the ground the weight of a great wave. Uh, what do I need to do? What Dex do saves 18 for the lot of them. Dex 18 for the lot of them. That's Ooh, some of them this is an area of effect spells, so Sanctuary yes. isn't going to help them out. Uh, very good, very good. Uh, that's going to be uh, Dex 16, you said? 18. 18. Okay, failure from that one. Failure from that one. All of them fail. Okay, so that's 16 uh, bludgeoning damage to all of them, and all of them are prone. I love that. I love that for you. Uh, yeah. 16. And all of them are belly up. I'm even going to say this one just sort of falls off the rock. It gets knocked off the rock lands here and that is about 10 feet so i'm going to give it an extra d6 of bludgeoning damage awesome sweet um none of these guys were concentrating on any spells okay yeah the wave just smashes one up into the air and it falls off the stalagmites to the ground the rest of the wave continues on and just just batters them into the ground well done anything else kiasi okay uh Bonus action, I'm going to ethereal jaunt uh, 30 feet away from this guy in front of me. Uh, right, where are you going? Back towards, uh, back towards Kiros. All right, like that? Yeah. All right. Uh, Faster than me, I can see you move. And uh, that leaves me with my movement. I uh, got the guy on the cliff. Nah, uh, I laying right here okay you got movement left you got a full movement if you want i know but uh i'm happy where i'm at at the moment and that's all we need to hear fantastic all right katara you're you're a little in the back there what would you like to do okay um 
if I if, how far can I get with 60 feet uh, near like Silenos and Gyasi I'm just looking for alright so you could do let's see here this is consider difficult terrain you could do like a this action oh I'm just looking for the distance I'm not going to need to walk it <laughs> oh god it, I don't, yeah I don't need cast this I don't know what you're doing um, 60 feet towards those you can do you need to be able to see where you're going good question All right, it's now, you, you, let me know let me know what you're doing that'll help far step ah probably need to see where you're I going. need to see it yeah um so I'll like I'll use like my movement to sort of get up into a perch to see like further along I'm just wondering if I can put myself sort of behind the the well there in between like near Goss Gyasi and Silenos like if they're uh, yeah 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 if you oh but you have to cast it so you'd have to run into the into the silence and you probably wouldn't be able to if you're in the silence no uh well here's the thing you could cast it outside of the silence end up somewhere inside of the silence and then continue your movement so you could do like you could like position yourself like on this rock over here portal into there and then just do like a little 15 footer behind the well uh sure uh that's fine so yeah bonus action far step and All then right. and then you run i'm going the to well. uh eldritch blast the two guys that are near kiros all right, you're going to put one into each of them? Uh, well, two will go to one, and the other one will go to another one. I'm going to split it, All right. two and one. Got it. So up here... So yeah, we'll say like up. you, you far step to here, and you're going to go one, two, three, and then you're going to run behind the well, if that's the plan. Yeah. Go for it, make your tags. Uh, 22... I think to hit. Yeah, 22 to hit. 22 hits on the first. Is it a Oh, I need save a, or something? I actually need Why don't you throw me three wisdom saving throws cuz they've got sanctuary. Okay. Uh 16. Uh yep, 16 saves. Uh 9 which becomes 10. Can I use the luck thing to, to re-roll that one? You certainly can. Use your sword. The like of Taiki. 20. That'll save. Roll me the third. Uh, 18. Yep, they all save. Go ahead. Uh, yep, they're all going to pass through. Okay, so the first one, I believe, was a hit. That becomes... Yep. What are you? Uh, one... One point one force damage. <laughs> one force damage. <laughs> one force. Uh, the second one uh, is a thirteen to hit. Probably doesn't hit. Thirteen doesn't hit, unfortunately. And the last one is twenty-eight to hit. Twenty-eight definitely hits. And uh, four force damage. Four force damage. Very good. Well done. Yeah, the sort of like can't quite focus in on that second shot, but the other two managed to blast into them, though the first oh. one scattering across the carapace for a little em damage. Emboldening bond or something? What does that give me? A die four. Uh, four. Hang on. <laughs> really hard to do on this four wall. was a 17, I think. Uh, roll. So I rolled a two. So it'd be 15, I think. 15 doesn't hit, I'm afraid. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, that's it. I'm just going to yeah. look kind of menacing towards the spidery people. Got it. Are you running behind the well? Uh, no. Oh, like actually, can you put me... Just on, I don't need to go behind the well, just beside it. I don't want to be sure, near like... the silence. I just want to be, yeah, I want to be visible to them to draw their fire. Understood. Um, roll me your wild magic stuff because you far stepped. 
Uh, is synaptic yeah. static concentration? Nope. Nope. Got it. Just exists. Just exists. Uh, 15, which, uh, yeah. Because it's my. Yeah, you, um, you have a, you have a, you have a, you have a crazy moment here. Sure do. It becomes, I don't know. Yeah, roll me that. 45. All right, let me tell you what you got on a 45. 45. Guess what's back? Oh. These fleshy, stubby, vestigial oh, wings and tail once more emerge from your back and from your mm -hmm. uh, hind quarters. Well, maybe I'll freak them out a bit. <laughs> yeah, they're like, who is it? <laughs> and they just they're, they're like they're like they look at you as if you are pure evil and maybe you are um i don't know right. the jury's out all right well done Katar. well done good turn uh thalia boy it's hard to hear this battle what do you do you're also muted so how far away are the creatures from Ouroboros? Uh, this one's in five feet. This one's... We're going to call it 20 feet. Uh, another one that's even further away is... 30 feet. Okay. And then this guy's five feet. And then the ones behind him? Five feet. No, like... Oh, you um, mean these guys? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one's 40 feet. This one's 50 feet. We'll call it. Or four, we'll call it 45 feet. Okay. And can I see Silenos as well? And uh, how Sure, Silenos just strange. got up and has a broken nose or something. Okay. And uh, can you see him? Actually, you can't see him. You I fell down the stairs see... and you lost sight of him. I don't need to see him, um, but I'm curious, like how far away the spiders are from him or driders. Uh, that's a little tricky. How do you know how far something is from someone you don't know where they are? You know. Well, I mean, okay, so I could still use it. I just wouldn't have that information. Yeah, you just don't have perfect information on it because you don't see him, right? Okay. Um, and then where's Kyros? Kyros is right there laying on the ground 20 feet from you. Okay, so I'll walk 20 feet to Kyros. Okay, you do so. Do I see Silenos? Yeah. Silenos is 45 feet from you. Um, uh, how far is, are the driders from Silenos? Uh, first one is 30 feet away. Second one is 40 feet. Or okay, 35 ish. Um, alright, so I'm gonna lay on hands, Kiros, which I don't think I need to say anything. No, healing hands, yeah, that comes from you or and your healing. form, so that healing will go by just fine. Uh, that's 14. 14 points of healing to Kiros. Okay. He is back up. Good stuff. Uh, that was my action. With my bonus action, I'm going to blow up um, Ouroboros's holy weapon. Okay. Very cool. But I want to keep Silenos's. Interesting. I, can, I don't know. So how it works is as follows. As a bonus on your action, you can dismiss the spell and cause the weapon to emit a burst of radiance. So what that tells me is that it is linked, despite the twin cast. This is this is still counts as one spell, right? Okay. Keep in mind you can break constant well, oh, it's a bonus action to do so, yeah. Shit. And Can I use distance on this feature? Uh, 
Well, you're not casting it. I don't think so, because you can utilize that when casting a spell, right? Not... Okay. Because you're not casting a spell in this moment. You're using a bonus action as part of one of the features, right? And how far away is the one behind Ouroboros again? Sorry. One behind Like that red one? Uh, that one's dead. The red one's dead. Oh, the red one's dead. Okay, okay. Those guys are... That one's 35, and that one's 40 feet from Ouroboros. Okay. Would Silenus be able to get the one on top of the wall? No. Uh, the other one? I didn't even see that one. Uh, uh, still no. 35 feet. No? Okay. Um... Oh, gosh. Well... I guess I'll, uh... Hmm. I will... Um, I'll just do it anyway. That's fine. Sure. Um, the longbow uh, begins to glow. Um, uh, Ouroboros, your, uh, your warhammer <laughs> begins to glow. Uh, and then Dali is sort of pull in this radiant energy and you burst it forth as you break the concentration and these radiant explosions are going to go off um it's going to look very cool as it happens to silence but unfortunately won't touch anyone but yours Ouroboros you said uh the one was within 30 feet of Silenos. you said I could get one yep you're right you'll catch this one guy over here uh and then Ouroboros is going to be catching a whole bunch of folks um, okay, creature of your choice, you can see within 30 feet must make a con saving throw. Here we go. Uh, go ahead and roll the damage if you'd be so kind, Thalia. We'll deal with Silenos' first. Um, this is an area of effect, so no sanctuary help here. Uh, that is a failure from this one. And he's blinded. And he is blinded, that's right. Uh, Jesus, 21 damage. Jesus, I need, a, I need a place where I can keep track of all these effects. Um, okay, how best to do this? I used to have a little thing that I could use, but I don't anymore. Okay, I'm renaming it Grider. Uh, blind. Uh, okay, that one's blind. That one took all its damage. Uh, now for Ouroboros, we're going to start with the with the Bone Claw. Uh, con save, that's going to be a 19, which is a save, I believe. Yeah, so it'll take half damage. It'll take half damage. That's going to be 10 holy weapon damage. Oh, you rolled it twice? Yeah, I didn't mean to. Oh, okay. So 17 to 16, that's going to be 8 Oh, sorry, damage. so it's 17 damage, not... So on the first one, it should have only been 17, my bad. Because that was the okay. first one I rolled. Okay, hang on. All right. Um, well, it gets four health back. Now these guys, let me get those con saves out of the way. Uh, that's a failure. That is a failure. And that is a failure. Uh, so, whoops. I'm going to... Uh, and it's going to take 17 points of radiant damage. It's going to take 17 points of radiant damage. Oh, shit. Didn't want to do that. And then this one is going to take 17 points of damage and be blinded. Very good. Uh, and they get to roll saves on this, or is this how long does this last for? Um, oh, rolls con saves at the end of each of its turns. Yeah, okay. end of each of its turns. Can Ouroboros reach the one that's in front of Thalia? No, we've already we, we've already checked that. Oh, sorry, sorry. Thirty-five feet. Okay, good job. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no. Wait, I can move, right? Yeah, you can move. You've got 10 feet left. I'm going to go on the other side of the dead drider, just out of the uh, silence or whatever. 
Yeah, you don't get quite out of the silence, but you do uh, You do get to the edge of it. Then I'll stand on the dead drider. All right, fantastic. If I do that, will right. I be out of the silence? Uh, you'll, be in ra- you'll be right in melee with this guy, but yeah. Oh, okay. wait, you... Oh, my God, hang on. Uh, you were here, and then you landed there. Yeah, you can do that. You can get there just fine. Cool, yeah, you get out of the... I'll probably put you here. You're still out of the silence, but it's a whole drier. Uh, Okay, fantastic. Moving on. That's going to be Alex's turn. Uh, Alex is going to look up at this one, and she is going to cast a firebolt. Uh, That will hit. Oh, no, that won't hit with an 18. Uh, So firebolt goes up and it just sort of blasts off of one of the stalagmites. Doesn't quite hit, and she's going to stay put. Uh, That's going to bring us to the riders. Oh, boy. Um, Well, these ones all stand up. Make my life a little easy here. Uh, uh, Oh, boy, there's a lot going on. Um... This one's muddled, but fuck it. We'll try it anyway. Uh, this one's going to make three longbow shots at Ouroboros. If you dare. Uh, 2022 and a nat one. 2022 and a nat one? All of those hit, except the nat one. Got it. You're going to take... That with the minus six? Uh... Oh. Uh, that's a 19 for the first one and a 20 for the second one. One of those missed. Oh, wait. No, sorry. They both still hit. Both still hit, unfortunately. Okay, so you're going to take uh, five. You're going to take eight total piercing damage and 14 total poison damage. All right. <laughs> All right. The drider on his nat one misses and accidentally shoots his friend in the back, and it, the friend is going to take 19 points of damage. Uh, then it retreats. And cast the sanctuary. Uh, this one is just going to blindly swing at you, Ouroboros. Uh, so that's going to be at disadvantage. Uh, nope, that is the wrong button. Okay, 10. Misses. Longsword strikes. 11. Critical miss. Complete just like... Ah, just like swinging your leg. Uh, and <laughs> completely misses. Uh, ends its turn by casting Sanctuary on itself. Um, this one is going to do a similar thing. It's going to run up to you. Take blind attacks at you. Uh, 17 misses, mm-hmm. 9 misses, and 9 misses. No nat 20 for me. Fuck you. Um, this one can't see, so can't do a lot of shit now. Um, I think it's just going to... Swing blindly. Swing blindly, but it can't... It basically runs up to here because it's blind, and finds out that its buddies are in the way, and it's going to take out its longbow and shoot over his buddies at you at disadvantage. Which is very fuck? well advised when you can't see. Uh, 14 misses, 9 misses, and 17 misses. I uh, missed like fucking 12 attacks right there. Like I'm going to roll their con save, see if they get out of their out of their muddled thoughts. Uh, this one gets out of its muddled thoughts. Their intelligence save. No. Con. Yeah, I rolled a nat, I I rolled a nat 20 on the one, but uh, uh, the other one's fucked up. Uh, now, as for Wait. the blindness, failure, oh, save, failure. So this one, oh, shit, this one. Oh, and those are con saves on the, uh, gotcha. Blindness. Yeah. yeah, they're, I'm basically like, if they roll above 20, I just, I'm like, okay, they, they save. So that's why I'm not asking, because <laughs> they got above 20. I know your DCs aren't above 20. Um... Yeah, that one saves. The others all fail their blindness checks. Uh, this one up here isn't blind at all. 
Can we try and tag Mr. Ouroboros? Yes, we can. Wisdom saving throw, Ouroboros. Give up! Give up! Yeah, give up. Is he casting a spell? Yes, he is. Am I within 60 feet? I don't... Uh, let me check. Nope. I'll distant cast counter spell, please. All right. Yeah, it doesn't work. It is a little tricky because I did just do like five. Well, I said it, so it's my fault. But they did just do like six spells that you didn't counter spell. So it was a little pick and choose. But that's my fault. So you're good. Um, okay. Um, yep, spell doesn't work. And they're going to be very bummed. And that's their turn. Uh, okay. This one over here is going to... Well, this one over... We'll start with this one. This one's going to try and light up Kiros because he's prone. But we're going to start with a bite advantage. Uh, that is a miss. Long sword. That is a miss. Long sword. There we go. 23 will hit uh, for 8 damage to Kiros. Uh, we're going to move... Uh, I, I would ooh, like to enact yeah. a little vengeance. Oh, yeah? Uh, oh, nice. <laughs> I believe it's a melee strike, right? You're a little out of melee range, I'm afraid. No. The reaction, you may make one free attack against the enemy, so I'm assuming that it's melee then. Yeah. No, yeah. you told me it didn't have to be melee because that would kind of make it not as good for well, casters, right? Would yeah, you... but you have to be equipped with whatever you're going to attack with. You can't swap out on a reaction. So Fair enough. Because I believe yeah. Um Okay, so unfortunately not. This one's learned its lesson about you, Kiasi, so it's going to move over to here. Uh, 15, oh, yeah, call it 15 feet, uh, and is going to similarly try and take down the prone demigod. Uh, that's going to hit with a 22 uh, for uh, so it's going to be 11 damage and Kiros is down once more. Uh, and then it's going to continue its path around into a flank with you, Thalia, and it's going to take in... Uh, uh, it only did the one longsword strike, so it's got two more attacks. Uh, at advantage, it's going to attack you, Thalia. That's going to be an 18 to hit. Is um, that one blind? Let's find out. Yep, that one was blind. You're quite right. My apologies. Uh, so that would have been a straight roll. I'll do a re-roll. Uh, in fairness, it couldn't have seen too well. So you know what? It Instead, it's going to actually stay there. Ooh, this actually didn't work quite to your advantage. Um, it's Kiros back up. Uh, nope. It's going to stay and it's going to commit all of its attacks to Kiros instead because it doesn't know where you are and doesn't know where Kiasi is. So it's just going to do what it knows it can do. So it goes once into Kiros, take him down. Second stab into Kiros for two death failures. But stab into Kiros to kill him. But aren't those at disadvantage? Yeah, I'll, I'll, roll the, uh, I'll roll the attacks against the prone body. Uh, yep, yeah, that first attack would have still taken him to zero. The second attack would still hit to take him to two failures. And the last attack would still hit to take him to death, unfortunately. Um, so it goes in with the sword and just starts ah, just stabbing into him, and Kiros is not with us any longer. Okay. That's going to bring us to... This one's already taken its strikes. This one's already taken its strikes. Uh, those guys have already been dealt with. This one up here is going to take its longbow out. Uh, and so is this one. It's sorry, I'm just curious. The, the vengeance thing, the jewel thing, is that... Does Kiros have one of those? Kiros does not, no. Okay. 
Uh, okay. Uh, these guys are going to take their longbow attacks. They are going to commit them to... This one's... This one's going to do longbow attacks for sure. Uh, I think these three are going to be for Gyasi because Gyasi scared the shit out of him. It's going to be 12. That's just going to miss. That's going to be a 15 to hit Gyasi. That'll miss. And the last one is a modified 20 to hit. That hits. All right, you, sir, are going to take uh, four points of piercing damage and six points of poison damage. Uh, it's going to cast a spell on itself. And this last one over here is going to uh, cast a spell. Uh, I need a wisdom saving throw from Gyasi and Silamos. Uh, spell, right? Spell, that's right. Ooh, let me get one from you as well, Thalia. Wisdom save? Yep. Uh, 26. Got 27. It. 27. Good job, guys. Yep, you all save against the whole persons. Um, all right. That is going to bring us to your turn, Silenos. This guy's going to fucking run away a little bit. Uh, all right, Silenos, what do you do? You see this drider just sort of blindly, like, ah, just like stabbing into Kuros's body. What do you do? Um... He is he within? What was that? Uh, is he within forty of me? The one uh, in front of Gyasi there. Uh, that one's within. Th that one is thirty feet from you. Okay. Um. Never mind then. Uh, I'm gonna uh, like stab the scimitar into the ground uh, and then mm -hmm. draw my bow. And I'm going to okay. shoot at the drider that I have. Hunter's marked. Okay, go for it. I was going to roll for my last blinded guy. See if he gets out of it. Uh, I uh, will say, just to be fair, I think they might have cast Sanctuary last turn, unless that dropped. No, that's that's absolutely right. Thalia, what is your DC? Uh, 18. Okay, the guy who is blinded does save, and he is out of his blindness. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that guy sees... Yes, he did cast Sanctuary on himself. Go ahead and roll to uh, see... Uh, not one and a 25, so... Uh, not one and a 25. Yeah, you'll definitely overcome it. Go ahead and roll, uh, roll damage, or roll attack. Perfect. Uh, sharpshooter. Go for it. Um, can I actually ex... Um, fuck. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say, can I use the luck that's on the jewel? But I think I had meant to put it on the scimitar to give me more versatility, but couldn't find a thing for it. Okay. Uh, so 14 to hit. Um, I'll use a story die to add precision. Go for it. Uh, 15 to hit. Uh, sorry, buddy. No, that will that unfortunately will sail by. Um. Okay. Uh, is Giasi? He's not in melee range of any of them, is he? The guys in front. Giasi is not quite in melee range of anybody. No. Sorry, I'm just seeing... No worries. Okay, uh, alright, then... Man, uh, not a good turn for me. I'm gonna use my second attack, uh, and do a commander strike. 
Okay, who you who's you who you sending in? Uh, is anybody beside the ones in front of me? Uh, Thalia is. Thalia is okay, but. Weapon. Uh, I will command Orboros actually. All right. I can fail that willingly, right? No, this is a good. This is a good thing. It, yeah, yeah. It, it strike, man. Strike. Yeah, it makes yeah. it. Oh, okay. My bad. Yeah, because you have free strike. Thought, I, thought you cast a command spell. No, no, no. Sorry. I, I was think it through. Basically, like, how the I fuck have does to, he have command? It's a weapon attack. So gotcha. I remember. On Thalia. No disrespect. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and, uh, yeah, you do the commander strike. You command Ouroboros to take a strike, uh, showing him an opening that he didn't consider. Go ahead, Ouroboros, if you wish to make a weapon attack against one of your choice. Hmm. And if they're blind, it'll be at advantage. Uh, that is true. Uh, this guy over here is pretty blind, so that would be an advantage strike if you rolled the wisdom saving throw well. Okay. Then, hmm, how is uh, Bone Claw looking behind me? I'm uh, pretty messed up. Pretty messed up. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think with uh, Rage 2.0 or Super Saiyan 2, uh, he's going to uh. strike the bone claw with enough ferocity to take down a mountain all right make an attack straight attack reckless all oh, reckless well you can't do reckless on a reaction unfortunately it's at the start oh of the yeah time. true 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 that's not gonna hit uh what is it a 14? No, unfortunately, it does not quite hit. You swing and it goes wide of a bone claw. You could add your emboldening bond to that. It's true. Ooh, how much? A D4. D4. If you're within 30 feet of a fellow person, right? Mm -hmm. Bonded individual. I'm, yeah. He is not within 30 feet of a fellow bonded individual, unfortunately. Oh, I thought I was like right next to him. You're 35 feet. Ah, uh, bummer. Not quite yep. close enough. Yeah. Okay. The weapon swings wide, unfortunately, Silenos. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Um. Yeah, I'll just uh, run up. Yeah, I'll just run up into the melee. Those, uh, those striders and Thalia. Okay, your your weapon's sitting in the sand right there. Just as a reminder. Yeah, I know. I can't. Like, I'm not. I wouldn't drop. I know Silenus wouldn't drop the bow. Yeah, that's what you needed to do though to get the. No, the I know, control. but I already used my draw stow. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just want to run, leave it behind. Character thing. I he won't leave the bow behind. Uh, so I'll go maybe ten feet behind them. Okay, yeah, you only ten feet fine because it's your scimitar that's in the that's in. Oh, no, I know, I know, I know, but like I would yeah, have you're to gonna keep the bow. My bow to pick up the scimitar, and that's something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understood. Um, okay, you take a little ten step forward. Fantastic. Uh, that is your turn, Ouroboros. What do you do? Uh. It's times like this when I need AOE. <laughs> hmm. Let's see that he got. Yeah. As a Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna lay into the bone claw. Alright. Reckless? Yes, please. All right. I wish there was like an overpower mechanic. 
<laughs> but no, I'm I'm like I'm like trying to go through this guy with a blunt object. Like I'm like yeah, swinging it You're like a to sword. Smash him into a paste as best you can. Mm -hmm. That'll be twenty four to hit. That'll hit. Roll some damage. That's weak sauce. Make it less weak sauce. Oh yeah, you two aren't lit up anymore. I should take that down. Uh, so 19 with no holy weapon. 19 with no holy weapon. Understood. Uh, you bash into it and smash it pretty damn hard. It is looking pretty frail at this point. You got it. Again. Ooh. Come on, baby. Uh, that'll be a 19 uh, for a total of 30. Roll some damage. be 13 damage on the third or on the uh okay. you slam into it once its body is all malformed and smashed and then you take it and you take your blunt object and just like throw him to the ground and smash and cave in his chest as hard as you fucking can mm -hmm. flames burst across the creature yeah. before that mm -hmm. uh as i slam it into his chest and the flames start to broil I'm gonna look down to him. Like fucking Kratos from God of War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna say. When you see Hades, tell him if he wants my soul, he's either gonna have to get it himself or wait until I'm done. <laughs> You slam into his chest. Uh, the darkness spills out of its mouth. Um, it sort of like brings its head up, and like like a demon being un, uh, being exercised from its body, black shade just pours out of its mouth into the darkness, and its flesh just sort of melts off of its body until that all that's left is a crumbled skeleton, and it is defeated. Well done. What else, Ouroboros? As a bonus action, uh, since Mighty and Poe isn't a damaging action, hmm. uh, I would like to throw one of these uh, at a wall. Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll make you, I'll make you a deal. The actual grabbing of the creature, yeah, you won't have to worry about Sanctuary. The moment you try and throw him at the wall, I will need a Wisdom save, because that is a damaging effect. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, what needs to happen here? It's a grapple, or what do you do? They just uh, make a Strength saving throw. And I throw them. Strength saving throw. Uh, you aiming for the blind one? Yeah. Uh, I don't think they'll take... It automatically fails. Well, this is a saving throw, so. Um, that is going to be a 16. That fails. You grab onto it, and, like, the, the manibles and everything are, like, scraping at your arm, trying to free it, and you pick it up into the air. Uh, where's it going? 30-foot throw. Mm. Where's the nearest thing I can throw it to to smash it? Oh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You could do one of those throw up into the air. Into yeah, I'm just gonna. I, I'm just gonna throw it like straight up into the air and have it fall on its comrade. All right, and then that fucker you... could make one. Yeah, make me the wisdom save. 
I just can't do it. <laughs> That'll be 11. 11, you go to toss it, to damage it, and you, uh, you just can't pull your arm forward to harm it. Hmm. You can redirect that attack, though. Yeah. Can. So what if I wanted to throw it into something else? As long as it's not damaging, I would say it's fine. But would I just have to make it again? The saving throw again? If it's damaging, well, you can't make the saving throw again because oh, okay. you failed it. You. So you're you're done, you know? Okay. But mm -hmm. I would say, okay, if you want to throw it somewhere or put it down where it's not going to be harmed, I'll let you do that. But you can't harm it this set. This okay. Way. I'll I'll just uh roll it like a bowling ball, uh have it roll on the ground thirty feet so here, away. Here's what we'll do. I'll say, yeah, you roll it thirty feet away and it's gonna land a prone. That's what I'll Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I figured that if I just roll it on the ground, it won't take damage. Exactly. Especially if it doesn't collide with anything. So you roll like, how's that? You roll like over here and it's going to land, it's going to end up being prone. That's fine. All right. Anything else? Um. Can this one right here not see me or is it just, it has sanctuary? It has sanctuary. Okay, cool. In that case, I will, uh... I think uh, I'll begin walking towards, uh, Kiros. Hey, you walk over to Kiros and you see this one drider just, just opening him up. Oh, I didn't know that was happening. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you look over and he is, like, he is a mess. Uh, and maybe even have like a flashback to yourself being like impaled in the chest by Kaligameth and you look at Kiros and see this one rider just I wish I took that, those two levels in fighter but uh we'll uh we'll end my turn there alright you end up there 15 feet you can keep going if you don't mind the opportunity attack yeah I don't mind it okay so you were here you want to walk right up to him mm -hmm. 30 feet will get you right in, in melee with uh kuros uh what would happen if i just like jumped on the fucking spider it doesn't matter because you're not going to because your turn's over right yeah uh so, uh but we can talk you about that next turn um no you can that's Sorry, I'm, I lost. Nah, no, nah, we're good. I forgot how good. jump works. You could if you could try if you wanted to, but it's not gonna do much, you know. Yeah, I'll uh, show you. that's the end of my turn. All right, that's the end of your turn. This guy's gonna take his opportunity to attack at you as you swing as you walk away. Take a long sword at you. Why not? Advantage because you're reckless. That's a nat twenty. Uh, you are going to take eighteen points reduced to. Eight, uh, 18, no, come on, 17, or 7 damage. Jesus, yeah. that was a... I'm, I'm going to uh, use my reaction to reduce that by uh, 1d12 plus my con. Sure. So that'll be reduced by 9 damage. Got it. Reduced by 9 damage, you got so it. So how much is that total? I'm sorry. Uh, it's uh, no damage. It was seven damage. You reduced it by nine, so no damage. Got it. Uh, uh, Oculus is going to take the dash action. He's going to run over here, uh, and he's going to take his long bone. He's going to try and take out that one over there. He's going to make two wisdom saving throws. Uh. He is going to fail the first wisdom saving throw, so he'll spend that on somebody else. And he fails the second one. So he'll spend it on someone else and have to make more wisdom saving throws. Uh, and he is going to succeed on one, fail on another, so he'll spend the attack on someone new. Uh, Okay, 
He finally managed to get two targets in. Uh, he won't get sneak attack on either of them because they're not within five feet. Okay, let's see. That's going to be 17 damage on this one. And this one up here is going to take nine damage. Oh, actually, the, the shot misses. Uh, and that's Oculus's turn. Kyros is no longer with us. Gyasi, it is yours. What would you like to do? We need it. I'm going to move between the two driders on the ground. All right, right there. Yep. You can also fly up a little bit if you want to hit both of them. Not yeah. Your movement. Okay, yeah, feet. definitely. Uh, let's poke. Oh. That one. Why not? That one? Okay. You would have sneak attack on this guy because of Ouroboros' presence. Let's Actually, see. I have still have advantage because I haven't used it from Dahlia's uh, heroic speech. speech. Right, okay. Go for it. Well done. Well done. We'll hit. Go oh, and roll damage. And absolutely kill it. Fantastic. You stab it right through the back of the throat. It falls to the ground dead as it sort of rigor mortis crawls in on itself. Good job. Two down. Um... And as a bonus action, uh, well, no, actually, I'm going to move. Uh, okay. Actually, let me take a bonus action, stab the guy in, f the remaining guy in front of me. Go for it. That'll hit. And he just gets the weenie damage. Hmm. 11. Not bad for weak damage. Okay. And now I'm gonna move. Uh, where am I gonna move? To? Just a question. Uh, actually, I'm gonna hold right here so Dorboros can have advantage when he cracks the skull off of that bug. All right, you just fly down a little, uh, ten. You just fly down to the ground, line up a little flank. Very nice. Okay, that's everything. All right, that's everything. Katara, what do you do? Okay, so just if I telepathically message somebody, just as like a side thing, that's not going to be like an action or anything, right? What does your feature say? It just says it's like my form of communication is just like telepathy. Okay. I'll have to double check then. Uh, let's see. Essentially, like my thought is just to look to Thalia and just be like, "Can you bring him back?" When I and like look at Kiros. E, uh, yeah, you can. The communication doesn't give the creature the ability to respond telepathically, but she has it too, so you guys can yeah. do it again. Yeah. So I'll telepathically message her, kind of looking at Kiros. Can you bring him back? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to like move the screen myself. That doesn't work. <laughs> um, so, uh, can I zoom out? I just want to see if uh, I'm gonna walk towards like the cliffside, and cliff I would side. like to, like the on the the left there. I'm gonna bonus action, uh, use my far step. I'd like to go up. Okay. And kind of get out of the field. I'm gonna go like um, up there, like so. I at the feet. level up more. Up here, yeah, up right here. around there. So if I can get there, yep. I have thirty feet, feet to like move to get there, so I can do that. Oh, um, well, yeah, you can. Like I would walk <laughs> closer to like get to that point, and then bonus action far step up. God, let's see if we can make that happen. So you can get to here, find to the top of the stairs. Let's see if 30 feet will travel you up that high. 
Uh, I don't think it's going to get you quite that high up, unfortunately. But it can get you to, like, this ledge over right here if you want. 60 feet. Oh, okay. You could get up there without having to move. Okay, great. So I'm going to go there, and then I'm going to look down, and I'm going to move Coriel so that he's... Because I don't know if that's going to affect it, but I just want him to fly up so that he's out of the silence, just in case that's a problem. All right. And then I'm going to prepare to cast Polymorph on Kiros once he's up. Okay. So I'm holding that as my action. Okay. And Okay, got it. I'm You're casting it action. through him, so it's he's within yep. 60 feet. Got it. You prepare Polymorph. You're going to cast it through your bird to, to tag him. Got it. Understood. Well done. Uh, is there anything else? That's the end. Of, that's it. Just holding. Got it. Thalia, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Um, where is Kiros? Kiros is right in front of you. Do I have to get in the silence to cast a spell on him? Is it a touch? Yeah. He's fully in the silence. Um, and there's a drider like right next to you blocking you. Yeah, I would say it's definitely a get him out of the silence and then cast it kind of situation. Does distance mm -hmm. cast? Does that work for expending it? Yeah, yeah, I can um, distance cast or subtle cast. Uh... Oh. First, I'm going to bonus action convert sorcery points because I need that. I'm almost out. No worries. Um, I'm going to use a fourth level spell slot for that and I'll get six sorcery points back. Um, right. And now I can <laughs> uh, distant cast revivify. So I don't know if it matters, but I had diamonds left over from Ray's Dead. And mm -hmm. So they're 500 gold pieces each instead of 300. Can I expend some of it? I don't know if that makes any sense. Uh, yeah, diamonds were 300 gold pieces which the spell consumed. So some of the uh, resurrections ones say a diamond worth however much. Uh, this one just simply says as long as you have like some diamonds, whether it's dust or whatever it may be. So yeah, if you have like a big old 500 gold piece diamond, you could just like 300 of it will just be fractured off and you'll be good. Okay, okay. So. Yeah, so take one of them and mark off that it's now a 200 piece sized diamond. Okay, uh, and I'll revivify him. Okay, you take this diamond into your hand. Um, you, the diamond sort of disintegrates down as this diamond enters into the air, and uh, light pours through it, refracting in many directions, and shoots into Kiros's body as he sort of <gasps> comes back to life as just enough wound seeps together and his soul returns back to his body before Hermes can claim it for the dead. And I want him if I polymorph, can I, I can do the challenge rating seven now, right? With the 14 level, it's like half. Is that how it works? Half. I don't know. What does it say? I can't remember. I'm trying to find it. It doesn't really say, not that I could read. I was trying to, I just thought that that was a rule of like half it of is, your. Yeah. Uh. Um, uh, challenge rating is equal to or less than the targets, uh, or the target level. Okay, he is a, a CR 13 creature, so you can do a CR 13 beast or lower. Cool! He's a giant ape. 
Got it. And he's got 157 hit points. Got it. We love that for him. <laughs> Just to keep him up. <laughs> ape. We have Gorilla. I want a, I want a cooler ape. Nope, we got it. This is what we got. He's going to look a little stupid, but he's going to be strong. Um, With my free action, I will use telepathy to tell Ouroboros... Um, uh, a friend will not fall as long as I can help it. He gives you a visible nod from way up. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get rid of fucking Kiros because he's being a little he's being a little annoying because he died, I guess. Whatever. And uh, I'm gonna put a new mini in so that he can look proper. Um, I'll be here. right back, What's but the... that's my turn. Got it. Uh, thank you, Talia. What is the hit points of the ape guitar? 157. 157. All right, he's back. He's big <laughs> and he's scurry. Uh, Farce, I believe you're now concentrating on polymorph and so yeah, yeah. let's go, go ahead and roll me another yeah roll me that wild magic let's see it mm -hmm. uh, oh shit I, I really I miss having all the screens guys it's, uh... <laughs> uh... uh 11 so no, i'm good you're good okay well done power move Okay, that'll bring us to Alex's turn. Uh, Alex, who has been very helpful this fight. Uh... Uh, I think she's going to just uh... Dimension Door. Uh, Uh, yeah, she's going to Dimension Door over here. Uh, and that's her turn, because wizards are pretty simple creatures. Uh, <laughs> that is going to be Rider turn. Uh, this Rider is really surrounded, my goodness gracious. Um, this one is going to turn around and commit some attacks to you, Gyasi. Or you know what? Actually, hold up, hold up, hold up. Something else is gonna happen now that it's about this stage in the combat. Um, as Kiros comes back to life and is emulated into the form of a giant ape, and he sort of <clears throat> and just sort of roars and kind of like looks at you, Ouroboros, with a look of like mad and feral recognition. Uh, and turns to like get back into the fight, he, like slams his hands onto the ground, does the whole fucking King Kong thing, um, and the party sort of rallies to to turn to fight these driders. Um, there's this sound deep within the recesses of all of your minds. You can almost hear these, um, it's almost like the sound of a harp, but thinner. Like uh, you see these spider, like the sound of the spider webs almost being like pricked, like. And it creates this reverberance through the cavern. And through that reverberance, you hear... You blasphemers. You have failed to kill even one. I am bored of granting you my power. Failed. Weak. You do not deserve the name of even dry down. Um, and you see all of these driders suddenly look in absolute stunned terror. A number of them draw their swords to all of you in like a desperate last, like, like, almost like killing you is to spare their own lives. Uh, and as they go to swing, uh, suddenly they all seize up and sort of like their bones begin to crack and they begin to sort of implode and fall in on themselves as you can hear the sounds of bones snapping under the skin as they screech out the name Arachne uh, and they all sort of fold in on themselves 
uh, and the bodies of the actual drow shapes fall off of the spider form, dead on the ground, half-cut Darth Maul style. And the rest of the spider body just turns over and sort of retracts in onto itself uh, in, in deep pain. And these drider are no more in this moment. And the cave once more, the reverberance it turns to silence. And that will be the end of combat. And we're going to go to a break. <laughs> we did it. Under right. Um, so I think uh, once, you know, I get the, no the, the nod from Silenos. Um, I'm going to position, I'm going to get Kiros to position the body so that it's facing only Silenos. <laughs> and then um, he like puts I'll... his paw down and goes like splats it and then points it up <laughs> and away from the rest of the party at Silenos. <laughs> and I'll just like pat pat his arm like good boy. Um, and I'm going to like kind of reach my hand down and I'll gra like I'll like grab the the shoulder and sort of infuse like I feel like the way I imagine it is like she leaves a mark like she's grabbing mm. their soul back so she like leaves a kind of a burn mark and then the body ignites yeah you you put your so here's what we'll say you put your hand on her shoulder on the shoulder and it leaves that sort of green handprint and all of this sort of residual spiritual energy off the body sort of sucked into the hand just calling back tiny traces of what was left behind when the soul was taken um, and then suddenly pours into the mouth and it sort of awakens. And I'll sort of step to the side so that's not, I'm not in the view. Yep. And uh, Kiros hasn't pointed, has the, has the body pointed away from the rest of the party. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> um, and looks at Silenos with a look of, What were your final orders from the queen? We desecrators warped in flesh were granted final power from the great spider queen for one last chance at redemption. To kill a demigod would mean our salvation. One last chance of redemption from our twisted nature for our devilation of her majesty. Where did the rest of your colony go? They left several days ago, perhaps two or more weeks since. Few remain. You said two weeks? Three weeks ago. How many remained in the colony loyal to the Spider Queen? You, Grand Inquisitor. The captain of the house remains with two last priestesses who would not abandon their altar. That is all. You cut out for me in a bit there, so it's priestesses. The two priestesses who would not abandon their house or abandon their altar, the captain of the house himself, and the inquisitor who is standing right before them. Perfect. Thank you. Where have we taken the oracle? Uh, I, you, none of you would trust us defilers and war criminals with such personal information 
But she was here and taken. This is as much as I know. Where should we go to find Arachne? Do not know, but they say she walks in grace still. Oh, I can give you more. I got one more. They say... She tunnels within the earth with her great pet, creating a new home for us to live in peace for all time. Deep underneath the glands of Greece, she burrows and crafts our new home. Same in turn three. Uh, Is that all five? Yeah. That, I, believe that's, I believe that was five. It was. As the fifth. Yeah, that's okay. the fifth one. And she says to make our new home. Uh, all this green energy just s pours out of its mouth and eyes until it just simply becomes a corpse once more and falls in them. And you auto scimitar in the middle just in case. Uh, and Kuros goes, <laughs> and starts spinning it around by the arm over his head. Oh my God. And like throws him off across the ceiling somewhere. <laughs> so quick question I um interrogated one of the cult followers that we captured and it was like detect thoughts or something and when I like probed I could see an underground city is this the one that I saw make a Investigation or insight check. It is your choice. Um, 26. It could be, but you really don't think so. There are certain buildings within that image that just aren't here. Okay. Got it. And then the Athenians that were turned into spiders back in Athens they didn't look like these half human things right no this is the first time you've seen anything like this uh, okay. the ones that were being turned into spiders were being turned into like literal spiders and based on what this individual said about warped flesh you get the sense this wasn't some kind of like great blessing from Arachne this was a punishment um, so hearing the dead body called the call Silenos the Inquisitor. Um, I'll sort of look what is this? What do they mean by Inquisitor? I've heard this name before. She sucks. <laughs> Care to elaborate? Well, she's kind of hot, but she does suck. She, I don't know. I can't, oh my god, we did Inquisitor shit, like eight months ago um she is like arachne's right hand man and um orchestrated the attack against athens um i don't know let me see what else i have on it was uh foretold in a prophecy or some shit that uh the inquisitor would come okay. and um, she came she actually uh she oh she freed cersei uh so the inquisitor was anointed by arachne awarded this title and honor for freeing cersei from her internal imprisonment uh yeah Sorry, and i so i don't this seems new to me right i i i had notes I didn't bring them because I didn't think I'd have one. That's okay. This is this is a uh, pretty new information to you. Yeah, absolutely. You, this is sacred. This is secret lore. Um, but I did. I heard the name. I think Hakate said it, or was it Ares? 
about the Inquisitor. So one of the gods told me Inquisitor. <laughs> I just can't remember what. I'll tell you what. Was... How, here, let's do this. Maybe your religion to check. See what you know of the Inquisitor from your travels and your communions with gods. The Inquisitor took Althea? What? <laughs> uh, 24. 24. Um, through your friends, maybe talking with some people on the ship, learning of like the story of the demi thoughts, the party encountered the Inquisitor, who was a a very cunning, intelligent, uh, basically warlord of the Drow people, and is the sort of anointed right hand woman of Arachne, the goddess of spiders. Um, she is been behind the scenes, sort of puppet mastering underneath the true puppet master Arachne. Uh, very powerful, very strong, very talented magic user, uh, is like the ultimate crusader for the drow cause. Um, okay. Yeah. And like Dahlia said, freed uh, Cersei from her eternal godly curse to be cursed to stick to an island and was anointed for it. So she is a, a very dangerous and very cunning adversary. Yeah, puppet inception, exactly. Where did you last see her? She was testing us when we last saw her, but um, where, uh, fuck, where was I? It was some village outside of Athens. Yep. You yeah, guys have they... only actually physically seen her once, but you've seen her multiple times through various scries and such. Spy games yeah. and whatnot. Who did I see outside of Sparta? I saw her, dude. Yeah, that was the Inquisitor. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. You saw her. And she didn't know her who she was at the time. Who she was, so. Outside of Sparta, wasn't it Cersei who had the showdown with the throwdown with Alex? Wasn't yeah, the Cersei did, yeah. And where but, where she was injured in the woods and I helped her. Oh and yeah. Was and everyone was like, uh oh. Yeah. That, that was the Inquisitor that you were helping. Yeah. And we were like, like motherfucker. Woman. Like, you helping her? Huh? You on her side? You're, her. You're, her friend. You're on their side? I think that was literally like session Fuck you. two. Fuck you, dude. That's why Fuck I did you. it before you found out about this. <laughs> I could get away with shit like that. Um, What a dick. All right. As you sit around and you speak of the Inquisitor and figure out your next moves, uh, to go track down, track down this fox, see what else lies within the city, see what is important that lays here, we will end the session. Duck. Bye. Bye, everybody. Adios. Have a good evening, guys. Good night.